And it's a very good morning to all our viewers out there and welcome to Sorrento Bowling Club for the 2023 Australian Sides Championships. Here at the lovely Sorrento Bowling Club, we've got another beautiful day for you installed. I'm your host, uh, Leader Lord Such. I'm joined by young Cam Harris. Cam, good morning. Morning, Suchy. Good to be here. We'd better be playing, but this uh, is the yes. next best thing. <laughs> well, we've got the best seat in the house. We've got a couple of the absolute heavyweights uh, in Queensland and Victoria. Uh, Queensland, their campaign off to a pretty good start. They won both their games yesterday. Uh, Victoria won and won. Uh, so our feature match for you this morning is the team of Nick Cahill, Sean Ingham, Wayne Turley and Aaron Sheriff. And they'll be taking on Brendan Gallagher, Brad Holland, Dave McKinnon and Dylan Fisher. Handy old ranks. Yeah, they certainly are. Very, very handy sides. This should be, this should be a great... Uh, WA recently played Victoria about a month ago here and uh, Snapper was all over it for very, most of it. Uh, very different conditions, wasn't it? Uh, we've got the complete very. opposite. Yeah, we actually mentioned that in the stream yesterday when the girls were playing. We weren't sure if they actually had any advantage coming out here three weeks ago with the completely different conditions they had. Yeah, well, it, uh, for those who don't know, we had about 25, 30 mil of rain the day before they came in. Yeah, so. absolutely poured but down. The, uh, the uh, greens are running good. We've got a beautiful day for bowls. It should get just over 30 degrees. A um, bit of wind, as is always the case in WA. But, and it's not worrying the leads thus far. Well, Queensland, defending champions, won this last year at home. We can try and do it again. Sean Inu on his backhand. He's trying to draw the shot and he's not too far away. Very nicely played. He's sitting jack high but gives him a couple. So Brad Holland. Also uh, following down on the backhand, just trying to get one close. And his weight was very good, Cam, just very good. a little, little bit wide. For the viewers, uh, with the way the wind is, that should be the tight side of the green. Yeah. At least this morning until it flicks around with the Freo Doctor in the afternoon. Well, Sean's on a pretty good line here again. Yeah, it's a good set by Nugget. Oh, there's two rippers. Well, ran a very good weight with his first. Oh, I think he's just pushed it wide again. Not going to be wasted though. No, well, you'd think looking at that, there's every chance that someone's getting aggressive at some point. So, exactly. having backers, not the worst thing. And I still can't get used to seeing Wayne Turley in a Queensland shirt. No, it's weird. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a while now, but he's the uh, he's actually the fourth highest capped player for New South Wales. So. There's a couple defectors in this rank, Turles and Omar. Oh, of course, yes. So Wayne Turley, the Wales manager at the Tweed Heads Bowling Club. It's a great job there too. Yes, yeah, so he certainly would have plenty of work. And Tell's not mucking around either. But um, yeah, I don't know if they'll be drawing this time. No, uh, a bit of a garage door. I think every chance we'll see uh, Dane reach. Yeah, let's see what kind of weight he plays here, Cam. Uh, see if he gets a big stick out early. Well, looks like looks like, yeah, looks like Dane's going to go. There's going to be some early. fire on it. It's a swing and a miss. Found the one hole that there is in the head. Yeah, always the way. Uh, so Tills, we'll see him draw up to this. Let me try and roll the ball over, try and change it up a little bit. Former gold medalist at the Commonwealth Games. Extremely accomplished player, and he's oh, uh, he had the weight to do it. So it's going to be another counter. So Queensland, 
Dan McKinnon going again. It looks a better line. What he's going to do? He's going to. He's changed it up a little bit. Got a couple out. He's actually uh, stayed up as well on the back of the mm. rink, so they do have backers. Okay. It looks like Jack's going to go straight back near Cam. It looks like it was going to kill before, but just like rolling that ball over. In fact, we've actually got the two backers. Uh, Aaron Sheriff has been on absolute fire as of late. Has he what? His last, his last 18 months is probably as good as anyone's Absolutely put together incredible. for a very long time. Uh, just racing off back-to-back -back world championships. Come for the best backward. Just about, yep. Got the backers. Just recently changed bowls manufacturer as well. Gone back to Aero. Yep. It's an interesting colour he's uh, chosen to go with. Mm. Don't mind it. Alright, so... That one here... Backhand drive it is. Gonna get one of them out. So just one down now. Just if it gets down, because the speed's good. Speed's perfect. A little bit of assistance. Yep, yep. done enough. Off the wall. Well played. Dylan might go again here. Cam. Would be a chance to flick out both. It's two down now, he's one down if it goes right back. Yeah, he's no worse off, so. Having to think about it. Yep, going again. Yep. Got Close a bit. Time. Oh, he's got them both got out. Both. What a shot. Got them both out clean. Still one light. Oh, it's one to Sills. Yep, got the finger up. So, one to the Queensland team. On the first end. Always good to draw first blood. Just, just feels nice. And Nick taking the mat right back. A short jack, just short of the line. Yep, similar length to what you just played, which makes sense. Yep. Queensland did have the bat, Loved. so. On the neighbouring rinks, uh, Sean Baker taking on Maddie Flapper, and Nathan Rice taking on Anthony Flapper. What a shot to start off oh, by uh, start. Nick Cahill. Yep. Don't get much better starters than that. Uh, front touch up. Bad reply either. Tell you what, look at this. We're coming in heavy early, Cam. They are. Brennan Gallagher just gets in that little bit of room. Smartly played ball. Um, I think we actually do have the Millerig sisters playing each other. No, we don't. No, unfortunately, no. Uh, they're what on. a great set, Nick yeah. Cahill. Would have been good if they played each other. Bit of sister grudge. Yeah, very good set. I'll be very happy He's with that. Jack high, but all you can do is get close really sometimes. Pretty Gallagher the miles away either. No, he's going to finish in a very good spot. Going to be good, good, good home. So at least he's done their job. Sean going over to the forehand side. Oh, he's had three cracking bowls already. He has, he has started on fire. And that little roll on that bowl was, that helps a lot. So we had a few upsets yesterday, Cam. We did. Yeah, certainly the uh, the women's competition in the morning, you'd have, it was uh, upsets everywhere. It was very unorthodox. 
but we had, you know, we talked about at the start of this game and the men, good shot coming down here. Yeah, very well played. Talked about Victoria being one on one. Their loss was to the ACT. Yeah, they exactly. got jumps, and you know, it th th would have been a fair while since Victoria lost to uh, the ACT. I would have thought. I always say they were very competitive yesterday. Uh, they played Queensland in the morning game, they went down by about 10 shots. So, well, they, they actually played quite a good year last year. I think they pushed um, Nuggets close again. Yes. He's going to get down, just going to tip it in, oh, I think. Ooh. Not ideal with the result, unfortunately, for him. He played it well. Um, ACT really challenged. I think they only lost by about two to New South Wales last year, and I think they challenged the Vicks as well. So it's good to see them building. Um, good to see our, our territories um, continuing to improve and get yeah. better. So Brad, just trying to repeat the dose. Oh well, that might change it up a bit. Say, it's not landed in the worst spot. So, coil is four to six foot away. So it just sails to the back of the ring there. There's probably not the worst track for it. Maybe just a touch over. But see what weight they decide to play with, uh, with his second. Four here for Dane. Yeah, I think he'll probably look into be beat Nick's multicolored one on the on the side. I reckon cover the splash. Just going to trickle past it, but beautiful line. So I was looking on. Swoop. Good look. Well, might not be the uh, necessarily the easiest to get to. Uh, no. Around that, I mean, it's the it's here's the water side, but um, it is sent around the grass here at Sorrento. It likes to go later rather than earlier. It's a good, good shot, shot from Dave McKinnon. Yep. Just flopped out, but it might be good enough for two. Close. It will be. It, regardless, it's in a good spot covering the splash, but I think he may well count. It's close. We don't really have a good angle. So, Sheriff, backhand. Teddy Wayne's another mile away, Cam. He is close. Oh! He's got That's spotted. a great shot. That's why he's the best player in the world. It was a little bit less weight that allowed him to do it. He played it really gentle. It was really only one turn on the shot bowl and flopping inside. It was, that's what allowed him to get down. It was a beautifully played shot. Yeah, I think Tills with his second bowl just not quite getting back. I think that made Omar's mind up that really had to be just over the draw. Yep. But absolutely beautifully. And... Uh, <laughs> Not, not particularly envious of uh, the shot that Dylan's going to have to play here. No, he might. Um, see what kind of weight he's going to play here. He might be going again here. Yep, wait again. Run something on it, it'll clear out the front. Yep. Right here, right right got the plant. Very good shots back to back there. Yeah, two ripping heads to start off with. I mean, it is a good lesson out there. Always look and see what your plants can do.
Okay, so as we come back to the clubhouse, Nick looks to be looks like a great start again. Yeah, he's he settled in very well. Just on the club front, Cam Cambridge looking pretty good this year. Yeah, mate. Yeah, we've managed to pick up a few. Can't Couple of people coming back, a couple of country guys, good shot here. The leads have settled in really nicely. Um, yeah, no, we we we've picked up a few, particularly back end um, for our interstate viewers. A couple that you, you will know, Blake Nairn comes back from his uh, stint in Victoria to play with us, um, as he was before he went. And uh, Peter Harris, former BPL player and coach and current state coach, uh, comes out of retirement. Yes. So that'll be good tempted by a couple of country boys coming in to, for him to mentor, I think. Yeah, so the leads both around the mark again. Great yep. start. No, they've, they found it early. These it's are a, it's a nice greens to play on when you find them. They really are. Yeah, we've uh, certainly paid tribute to the Green Keepers. A wonderful job. And yep. yeah, we're only talking about how much rain we had only three weeks ago. Well, and another one is like being part of the uh, selection process. There's Nugget. Oh, Nugget again. Ah, squeaks up. Yep. Good shot. Um, the one, the one behind us, um, or next door, as the, uh, as the. Uh, viewers will see it but behind our commentary position um, we were playing on that in July it's probably the best of the lot yeah it's, okay um, and we're not a really a grass all year round state no you don't, certainly not you don't get much grass in in June July in Perth so done a fantastic job look at this Ooh. Make an effort. Well, it's made it better. It's made it easier. I hope we keep this standard up, Cam. I was going to say, if this is if this is the way it's going to be, we are in for yeah. a cracking game. We we look like we picked the right rink. Uh, Nugget following this down. Had a pretty big impact in the game already. Oh, he's, look at this. Oh, he's going to be a little bit unlucky, but we're stiff. Not sure he's got shot. Not sure it matters. There you go. Yeah, he's a bit unlucky there. He's if he just climbs around that and gets to the orange, it's just a bit stiff. Come on, Captain. Oh, you're stiff, mate. All good. Happy, mate. Well done. Just now, mate. Just now. Come on, Captain. 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 Tells no mucking around straight on the mat. He's one of the quicker players going around Tells. Maybe that's why he had to leave New South Wales because he <laughs> wasn't the quickest player on the team anymore. He's close. He's close. Ooh. I think it's bounced up off yeah, the uh, off the off the light blue back up to the uh, to the dark blue. Well, we can see it from there. It might still be Victoria. Tell's last ball is. Which is where it is pointing behind that. Uh, Jack is between the dark blue and the light blue. More on the dark blue side. So it is pointing out that direction. Wayne zoning again here. He's just got to run it. Just got to run it. Oh, that's a very good effort. Another ball on the head anyway. Yeah, well, doing well. If Jack doesn't move, he'll be doing well to drop more than one. I don't stick with his backhand. I think he's going to try and get too near it. Put another safety ball in. Yeah, they're both somewhat in the game. I think we'll see uh, Omar with a bit more delicate than where Dane's bowls are. Just trying to splash out the uh, 
yeah. sort of the bluey white one is Wayne's and the multicolored is uh, is uh, Nick's so he's got two back there to play with plus of course make it second mm. shot so that plan at the front might nearly do something too Cam but Say, I'd say Dylan will be not worried about getting an extra shot. He'll be just trying to get into that zone and make sure he doesn't drop a score. Because it been a, looks like there's been a couple of scores on the other ranks, a three to Queensland and a four, four to Queensland. That looks like they started well on the other ranks. So we want to keep it nice and tight. And girls currently five all. Yes, down to Omar's. Just got the wrong. So gets the uh, that in the middle or the inside is in a very good spot. Well, anyone's having a closer look this time? Is he going to hang on? No, not quite. I think this will be just more of a practice bowl. I'd say so. I'm not sure he's drawing to the jack. I think he's just going to try and draw to that pack he tried to before, try and correct and test it out. So I won the Victoria, one on two, and uh, we could have just saved ourselves 15 minutes and come out a bit late. <laughs> So the check's going to get to about a tee. Yeah, definitely going a bit longer than what we've been playing. Hello, Brendan. Started off the game very well. Uh, this is a left hand, but we won't hold that against him. <laughs> Uh, the two matches that we had yesterday, Cam, uh, both the leads went opposing hands to each other. Well, we started off the same today. So yeah, so... Uh, I think Nick does tend to like a wider set. I played against him, I led against him last year at, uh, at Broad Beach, which had a bit of rain, so it was a bit slow, and I think he was using Quantums. So he does. So that does probably make the uh, narrow hand a little easier for him than maybe Brendan, who's played this very well. You can get, we can get some gusty breeze here, so the narrow hand can be... So there will be some leads that won't like it throughout the uh, throughout the tournament. I would expect. Yeah, unusual to see. Uh, yeah, three games and all of them go on different sides of the ring. Brendan, he's pretty reasonable here. Runs under his arm, which he will. It's a good second. We have South Australia taking on ACT. WA in Northern Territory. And Tasmania and New South Wales. Yep, and of course you can uh, see, they're not, it's not 100% live scoring, but you can see score updates on the uh, Bowls Australia website. In the uh, events, in the events tab, events, nationals and live scoring. Aaron Delfort running around, I think, doing a, a pretty good job. Certainly was a... Uh, well, I was at work having a regular check of that of that uh, website yesterday. Very good. I'll you know, just say, uh, ACT framing as the surprise packets of the tournament with their with their big win over Queensland in yep. uh, round one, the women, and they're eleven nil up against South Australia after six. Yes, had a very good day yesterday. Okay, so the call is for Sean to reach. Just down, but it's well played and it's yep. cleared it out the way. It's going to, they've got to look at a very nice shot now. And knock one of their balls back too, Cam. Yeah, so. split, touch anything. So. Brad. Just going to 
to sneak around the pack, I think. I guess that his back bar's very good. That's, that's yeah. a pretty good effort. That's a good shot. He's going to be happy with that. This is a lovely shot, though. This is just one of those shots that looks great when you step up on the mat to play it. It just looks so gettable. Well, he's in the area. And he's right in the zone, Nugget. Got a piece of it. Good shot, Shawnee. Oh, he's done enough. Well played. Gets the shot. Well, he wasn't the most deluxe result, but that he could have gotten, but he still played it very well. Gets shot for it. We've got some warm days coming up too, Cam, so I think we can rule out we're not going to get rained off. No, no. Perth's uh, turned it on. This is the first time I think we've had the, the side series in Perth and it hasn't rained for a very long time. I remember the last time we hosted, I was either just, I think I was just starting uni, I was at Yokon, and it poured down all week. Yeah, it was about seven, eight years ago, I think, for memory. Yeah, probably a touch more. Could be even longer. Always, there's the uh, the old adage that it always rains at the side series, mm. but uh, not this year. We've been lucky so far. It's beautiful weather. Not a cloud. Tills on his backhand. I tell you what, it's a pretty good He's effort. Played it well. Very, very happy with that finish. Yeah, thumbs up from the skipper. Both teams playing very well, but the setups that Queensland have generated in the first in the first three ends have been yeah, a bit unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, what, just lots going for them on every head, really. Well, I think that's the key. We talked about that yesterday. How important it is to keep your bowls in play, and and you see the the eastern states that they play this the meter of weight so good. The more bowls you can keep in and around the head, the better it is for your skipper. It's good if we get from Charles, just going to run through. Not the worst, it will be the best backward. Yep. Or the backest, as we say in Western Australia. I found out recently that that's actually a, West, a uniquely Western Australian thing, the, apparently. The backest? The backest. We do like the term backest. <laughs> so that would make most of my bowls the shortest then. <laughs> <laughs> the frontest. Frontest? <laughs> I'm just happy if I keep them on deck. Good. Well, on forehand, had a couple of good runners. We haven't really seen him get the opportunity to try and play. He's going to need some help off the shot. shelf. Well, it's a great home. It all fall over. Still be just down, but that's changed things a lot. <laughs> well, he's got about three inches and. Yeah, I might just says what well, just draw the shot. Looks like he's not uninterested. <laughs> it's getting back. <laughs> it's not a bad effort. He's gonna finish in a good spot. That's less. Well, Dylan here hasn't actually got a bad shot on here. Look, that front bowl. Yeah, yeah Dane's just pointing bowl. it out now. It'll get the bowl clean out if you can get the right connection. So, they just letting him know that they have got two seconds, so if he chips his own bowl out, it's not going to hurt anything. I want to oh. get down. Yeah. Lovely wait for the shot. It, see that's that's just that holdy hand with that wind. Mm. Yeah, you really see it with weight, don't you, Cam? That's why I come back. Yeah, although Mo, he wasn't going to run the risk of being narrow. No. So just another single. The Queenslanders, 2-1. Nine six on the master board. Oh we'll just 
worth asking the question if it was long enough, but the Mets throw enough back. Yeah, Mets only a step or two off the tee and a good couple of metres off the mark. Probably about the 23 metre mark, just past it. The season just about to get underway over here, Cam. Stay yes. fours next week. Yep. Good shot here. Just ran away a little late, but it's still a very good shot. Yep, state fours next week. Obviously, been building into this and then pennant in two weeks. So The former winner of this event, Cam. Once upon a time, very long time yes, ago Yes, it was when I just moved here. I just moved here when you guys won that. Yep. No, it was, it was, a, it was a very good day with... Uh, with ringside Clive ringside Adams. Ringside Clive, yeah, he's out there. Uh, so there you go. If you want to, if you want to be big on a bowls of show stream, all you got to do is win the Western Australian State Falls. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a very good day for me. That it was sort of what I, I was put into the state squad. I think two weeks later, it was yeah. what really sort of set me going. Um, see if we can do something similar for someone this year. I'm quite happy with the team I've got. There'll be a few other, I think. Victoria is starting to come into their season yeah, very they'll be shortly. Doing the same. They'll be getting their pennant season underway. We're getting into that time of year where everyone's just starting to get moving. I tell you what, with um, if you're playing high-level bowls, Premier Leagues, and those sorts of things, with uh, the nationals in October and everyone trialling through winter and preparing for nationals, everyone comes into the season in rip-roaring form now. There's mm. no, there's no settling in over the first couple of weeks. You've got to be on it straight away. Well, I played a few pennant games. In Victoria, play for Glenroy. And Tony McCarran, one of their own. Anyone from Glenroy watching, I say hello. No, Sean just needs about a metre off. And I think he's corrected pretty well. This will be enough of a shot, I would think. Yes. So I think we've definitely seen a, uh, a preference by most players for the wide hand thus far with the exception of Nick Cahill, but again, I think he's using a slightly turnier set of bowls. Just looking for that consistency, knowing it'll turn, I'm guessing. Well, Brad looks like he's corrected pretty well. Yeah, good second yeah. shot. It's important to correct him, isn't it? Yes. When you've only got two bowls, if you, if you miss with your first, you've got to adjust. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the aim of the game, if, you know. I've always said when doing drills and things, you should do very well on your second bowl because if you get your first one, you should just do the same thing. And if you don't get it, your first one, you should fix it with your second. So, tells us find the gap, but lovely, lovely home. It's a lovely home. That's that's the standard, isn't it? Such as these blokes don't waste two. It's no, just just no. If they miss twice, you, you're thanking your lucky stars. Yeah. Don't just be drawing up on the backhand here. He's given it a bit of a chance. So looking to try and change it up a bit. It was a great effort. So it looks like they're both trying to hunt this jack. Yeah, it may well be a case of he who gets there first. Yeah, it tells he's on target. Yeah, he's in the zone, mine. Wayne Turley. Good shot. Turley's been one of the best of all time. So full draw. Dane zoning as well. Tell you what, he's not far away either. Oh, he's just got the wrong side of the jack. We well, deserve to be better than that. He played that very, very well. Uh, 
up on the forehand. Just going to see if he can swing around all the short ones. I don't know if he's quite going to do it. A good weight. Dylan's too damp here. Uh. Yeah, see what he does. A good look at the head before he came up. We got white camp. He's lining up. Yep. The kill and gets it. It's a good hit. He's uh he's looked good with those. That's why he's Couple nice hits. So, two to the ends already. Yeah, so played five, only finished three. Well, we had the two longest games yesterday, Cam. We could be on target again for <laughs> the hat trick. I think uh, Clive and uh, Pete were saying. Uh, uh, I think they had a game that had seven dead ends in the first half, and then, well, but then, but then didn't have another one for the rest of the game. It was looking very ominous <laughs> early on. Mm. Uh, Queensland girls up eleven six, and Queensland men ten six. Some cracking, uh, cracking matchups in the. Uh, Women's game as well, the ladies game. Yeah, you've got uh, Lisa Phillips and Chloe Stewart. Yep, that'll be a really good matchup. Uh, Kelsey Cottrell and Cass Millerick and Lindsay Clark and Samantha Atkinson. Yeah, we saw how well uh, how well Sam played oh, yesterday. Played. Yeah, exceptional. Yeah, the main game's given for Victoria. She did very well. It's a, aren't those days just great where you just you just find it, and it's just—it just feels easy. Uh, and you just—you don't think about it really. You just do it. It was about 1997 the last time I felt <laughs> that. <laughs> There's uh, Nick just rolling his own ball up there, finishing a good home two. to run a little bit this one but the track's good to get round it. Yeah, so Sean played very well so far. Yes he has on his forehand here and he looks close again. Well, beautifully played again. He is uh he is looking problematic from a Victorian perspective. He has started very, very well. Very handy bowler to have as your second. So he's he's played a lot of state games and a lot of them a lot of them at three as well. Yeah. Um, very experienced player. It's amazing to say because I think he's only a year older than me. Yeah, he's been around a long time, hasn't he? Been around a long time. He sort of came up through the scene very early. He was a very good junior. Remember playing against him in a uh, in an under 18s bronze medal match in the fours. It's, and he just walloped us. He went for a bit of insurance. Well, speaking of the junior days, I can remember just as I was coming to the end of my stint, I can remember seeing... Is that when they, just when they released the car? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there was an 11 year old sheriff on the rink next to me. It was the first time I ever saw him, and I, I said, That kid will play for Australia. There was never any doubt. At 11 years old, how good he was going to be. So, holding one here, Queensland boys. Good second shot from Brad. Just finishing in just behind it, so it tells me trying to beat that.
Which happened down well. You get in the side of it. We just missed it, but it does show you, even though that is certainly wind-wise the tighter the tighter hand, that there's still some nice turn out there. I actually find that that playing on this screen, which I have a few times with pennant, um, you still get a bit of turn out there when the wind's like this, but particularly that hand, maybe less so the other way around in the afternoon. But So, forehand here, I don't. Well, it's probably the... The worstest uh, one we've had so far? Yeah. Showing that they're human. So, a little uh, promo there for Junlop. Right, the Larry. We'll have the Australian Championships there next week. Yep. Now, all three, all three of our venues are within the uh, within the city of Joondalup local government area, who have been a fantastic supporter of this event. Do a lot of good work. They're, I think, as a council, they're quite supportive of all their clubs. Actually, mm -hmm. they, they do a good job. And it's very, it's so important, especially for. Uh, Clubs over here that are really more community-based clubs to have that support, grant oh, funding, and yeah, things exactly. like that from from all levels of government. Really, exactly. it makes a huge difference when you've got a supportive council. It really does. Okay, so. Skippers smacking their way down. I like that walking on a dream in Western Australia. Yep, Tourism WA, another one of our event sponsors. Yes. Very lucky, my original six-month holiday plan has <laughs> turned into a permanent... There you go, guys. If you want to come up... Yep. I can't think of, of a better advertisement for coming here for a holiday yep. than that. Last and bloke who did it didn't want to leave. Never went back. Omar, coming down here very nicely. Good shot. Oh, nice shot, Aaron Sheriff. What's that in relation, mate? Just asking the question there, Dylan. Just wants to know where it is in relation to the jack. Danger saying he'd like to see Dylan on the backhand. Working through Shawningham's. Yeah. I don't think he's going to quite hang on, is he? He's, he's got to climb a bit. Oh, if he didn't get that sneak, he would have been close. He's not in a good zone. Yeah, a couple of good balls there, just sitting behind. You can see the head there. It's not all that easy to get to. A few bowls there blocking things up a bit. So it just has to sneak that pack. I'm going to change over to his forehand. Played a peach with his first. Sorry, sticking with the forehand. Just trying to draw again. Looks underneath on that one, but if he gets across, he's not going to make it any easier for Dillon. Oh, he's might, he's he might, he might nearly not be too far off county. Wouldn't he not? Well, I think, well, Nick, Nick put up three fingers, so he might have made it. So he might, this puts a bit of pressure on. The advantage of uh, having good weight control. So final ball of the end here, fourth end. Just trying to sneak around the front stuff here. I think he's around him this time. Uh, he's got the weight. Something's going to happen. Ooh. Oh, that's a <laughs> well, he's played a good ball. But yeah, he's played a very good... Uh, probably got third shot out of it. Cam. You'd love to have one more. <laughs> like, you'd love to have done that with his first one. It would just splay it open with plenty of things to land. But that's been a couple of times just there and the uh, end before with, with Dane's child. They've just probably not gotten quite what they deserved out of a couple of shots early on, the Vicks. Well, he did get third shot. So, just a two. Just a two. So, the Queenslanders double their score.
Yeah, just Victorians maybe not quite got the value out of a couple of their shots that they've that the shot has perhaps merited, but as we said earlier, Queensland setups have been very, very good. They haven't left a whole lot on. Even there, it was a very hard shot. He had to play very well to even cut one out. I think Cahill on the draw, just a couple of foot, half a metre short. If you are in the area this morning, for our Western Australian viewers out there, feel free to come down. It's great bowls all around. We should have a reasonable crowd, I reckon, this morning. As Brendan just sails through. The crowd may dissipate a little bit in the afternoon as people head off for pen of practice and events at their own clubs, but I reckon tomorrow is the day where it's going to be absolutely roaring. Good correction here by Nick Cahill. Very handy spot. Brendan clear in the front. You're all over it. That was, yeah, Dylan says you were all over it, and I think he's right. That was a front hopper. Him on his back end. There's a touch run. Does count. Played him all there, mate. Score shot. Sneak around. Again, that's a couple of good shots that just wrecked on the front. That one by Brad Holland. Mighty effort by Brad Holland with the first one just clipped off the front. Is he going to get through the gap? Is he going to get up to the gap? Shot, Ooh, just a touch short. There's still room though. So far looking uh, on to Queensland, courtesy of Nick Cahill. Wayne Turley on a good line. Played it well. Doubles out. He's been using aero bows for quite some time. I think I think he's been using them nearly since they've been out. Yeah, I think he was one of the early the early ones. That was a fair while ago now that yeah, uh, well, arrows came out. Oh, it makes me feel old because I was I remember when I first started playing they they didn't exist. They came out I think second or third year maybe. Yeah, so. And you're on the forehand. Just got to try and miss this front bowl. Had a few goes at it. Get down through the uh, through the hole. That's a good shot. Very well played. Came back beautifully. And a good shot there. Dan will nearly be second. The Sydney Swans on his bowls. Potentially a, uh, a South Melbourne supporting family yeah. from the old days. You'd be a Sydney man, wouldn't you, Sachi? Uh, well, when I got here was when... Uh, Great set by Wayne Turley. was when uh, West Coast won the flag, so I thought I can't jump on the bear wagon, so I've, I've gone for Fremantle since I've been here. Oh, you're suffering along with yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, so... We're both gluttons for punishment. No, I haven't had too much to cheer about since I've been here. That's right, it's character building. <laughs> Yeah. 
Tails with a couple of whoppers. Just got to find a way. Oh, which he has. Shot. What a shot. Absolute plum. Thank you very much. Absolute cracker there for Dave McKinnon. Oh, just drew a cold. Absolutely beautiful shot. Sheriff. He's in absolute supreme form as of late. Australian Open singles winner for a fifth time. It's an incredible effort. How many games you got to play there? Oh, oh. <laughs> he's done it too. <laughs> yeah, what a shot. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Oh, that it's a bit of a way when you when you got a front toucher and the short bowl's in the way <laughs> and you're still not safe. Oh, you know you're going well when you're getting those. So uh, we'll have the ACT girls in Northern Territory. That'll be our afternoon match. Yep, our two territories, small populations, but. Let me tell you, they uh, they get right behind their own. Always see great support for both of them. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get through the hole. He's probably blocked it up a touch too. Melissa Rigoni. Melissa uh, Rigoni from the Northern Territory. We'll yeah, she, Chloe yeah. Morrison. She had uh, quite a good uh, she had quite a good Australian champion of champions, and Chloe's been a which would have been ACT's best player for a fair while. Yeah, uh, semi finalist in the indoor. Just lacking a touch of weight well, here for Monarch. He could be forgiven after his first say. one. <laughs> Drive from Flap on the next rink. One of the quickest in the business. Oh, yeah. Actually, had a year with uh, playing pennants with Nettie Flapper. Well, and his brothers just let one rip two on the other rink. Also, no slouch. No. Uh, quick, those two. Well, what's happening here? He's got some contact. Went up through. Nearly found a way. Uh, Have a look, but it's uh, one to Queensland. Uh, Brian, is there a big board score somewhere? So there is a. We will keep you updated, and we'll probably, if, especially if it's close, do it uh, more frequently at the end of the game than the start on the big board. Currently, 16-13 uh, to Queensland. Um, but there's also, uh, if you look in the description of this video on, uh, if you're on Facebook, there is a live scream, live scoring link. You can click that, and it's got. Um, fairly up-to-date scores on all the games, both rink and aggregate. That's not just in this game, that's across all eight matches. The Miller Ricks are playing each other. It's been six ends, and I finally figured out there they are. They're playing each <laughs> other. <laughs> the sisters battling it out. Some good family bragging rights. I bet you, uh, good shot, good shot there. Yeah, Gallag yeah. I bet you though, uh, five or ten years ago, they never thought they'd be playing no. softballs against each other. No, Cassandra making the move down to Moama. Great year she's had as well within the Australian Open. Has Big, big year, real turn of the corner. Big. But we deserve a little more than that, but he's in a great spot no, regardless. Two great balls, exactly. That's so important if your leads can get you off to a good start. So important. Something you know a bit about, Cam, you've uh, been there yourself. 
leading or just, uh, yeah, just how important it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good shot. Yeah, no. Um, did me best. No, <laughs> got uh, one series. No, mate. obviously not good enough. So well, uh, I don't think uh, I don't think it'll be your last, mate. Somehow, but uh, no, it is important. But, um, I think the most important at state level as Sean comes down is he going to hold for the ball? Yep, that makes it a fair bit easier. That's a great shot. Um, I know uh, Peter Harris, the uh, WA coach, has a theory on leads. You want them to be, they have to be good if you're going to if you're going to go well side series, but they can't be too good because they just set it up for all the really yeah. good twos. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sit and trail. Oh, it's just hard, and you see it so often when they nail it and they're never there at the end. But no, very important. You, you don't want to be under the pump, ch chasing close balls like you want to give your thirds and your skippers the opposition to, to the opportunity to to play those balls, to turn shots over. You don't need them scrambling to try and convert four, five down into one down with a couple of close balls. Good look here. He'll Sean. flop it out. Yep. yep. Certainly has. Jeez, he's played well. I think he started he's very well. Man of the match at the moment. Talking about Queensland having good setups, and he's been a big part of that, actually. He's probably been just the difference in that regard. Yes, on our, our earlier conversation, um, Nick Lewis at Cambridge, if you've ever spoken to him, he knows a lot about bowls. His theory is, you know, you're going well if your um, opponent's skippers are playing wops for one and yours are playing yeah. wops for four and five. Yep. Mine's Hurley, throwing on the forehand. Looks in the area-ish. Just got to stop a bit. He will when he hits that. So, eight-shot lead on the aggregate moment for Queensland. Yep, they've... Uh, they're going well on the uh, Rice Anthony Flapper rink, and of course on this rink it is a uh, 10-9 on the other. Matt Flapper was out to a bit of a lead, I think it was 9-2, but that's been reeled in a bit, which is why the big board looks the way it does. And a close one in the girls, only a couple of different. we are just flipping over the Queensland scoreboard now, so the girls are up 21-15. Game working through. Handy, couple of miles in the head. The big so the tails just have to take a little bit of weight off this one. Just about so Dane playing a similar shot. Love to just work through Brad's just underneath it to land something. Or down to his own even, the outside. Ooh, he's gonna get the outside of the Queensland one. Yeah, tip it in. Such a fluent delivery, isn't it? It is. Team are interested, so it's in there. Just needs to run a little bit. Get another way, do. yep. It's only doing enough. Yeah. I think you could throw coconuts down. <laughs> Be around the place. So Dylan, just want to dry the hand. So we're going to wait. The two dead ends already. Yeah, Back in with weight. Oh, plenty of moving. Yeah. <laughs> Both going flying everywhere, but there's still a couple of Queensland ones there. Yeah, I'm not sure it's a whole lot, a whole lot better.
But there's one thing he does have now is room. Although we haven't really seen him have many opportunities no, he still into cold draw or no, shark. No, exactly right. Shot, but it's, uh, it's probably going to help the Victorian boys out a little bit. A bit of a shelf, but. Okay, so, Dylan, final ball. Just the sixth end. Count again, bubble. Can you count again, yeah. Well, he can use that last bolt. Oh, we're going to have another... Oh, no. no We've got a rebounding like jack. It's going to stay in. It's and that blue line, I think, is on the inside. But Might have killed it forward, I think they're saying. Less than 18 metres. They're still on the confines of the rink, but it does have to be 18 metres... Long. It's a bit of a discussion here. We're not sure if it's long enough. Oh, well, see how ITO shall sort it out. Um, 18 metres. Yeah. I think they're battling, to be honest. So we could have another dead end here. Yeah, it's hit very well early, early on, Dylan. I think it's. Short, it's too dead. It's dead is dead, but it wasn't a lot in it. Yeah, there wasn't that much. No. Yeah, it was closer than we thought. So, it's another dead end. We were still right, but. And Dylan's uh, killed David, all three of them. David Clark asking 14. 14 for a bowl delivered, 18 for a rebounding jack. So we come back to the clubhouse for replay of the sixth end. Could be here a while based on this. Yes, <laughs> yes we're going for the hat trick of the last rink but off. It does. That does tend to um, be the case at this level because players are such great hitters. We're talking about uh, fluent deliveries in the last end. Such if you could like buy someone's action on eBay oh. and it become yours, who would you? Well, pick? it. Um, <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want my own back, I can tell you that much. <laughs> um, you don't get the talent, it's just the aesthetics. No, you, you, you're right. Um, I reckon um, Shannon McElroy's yeah. high on my list. Yeah. But, well, Barry Lester's actually... Uh, yeah, Bez is good. But uh, I'm going to go a little bit old school, but there was a fellow by the name of Kevin Walsh who did play for Australia in the 90s. Um, had one hell of a career in New South Wales. And uh, his delivery was good shot from Nick. Was flawless. So any old school bowlers that might know Kevin Walsh. If you want to go real uh, old school, I, I might throw in a, a Jeff Oakley as a consideration. Oh yes, he had a lovely delivery. Yes, certainly did. Well, great correction. Good shot. Two good shots there. Happy for anyone to uh, throw at the up in the in the uh, chat if you could just yes. for aesthetic reasons if you could buy anyone's delivery and, and use it yourself who yeah, would you pick I don't think uh, you don't get their ability with it just the action no, I don't think anyone will say me <laughs> and if they do they shouldn't be playing <laughs> yeah I reckon I might go Shannon but there's a few there's a few that you could justifiably pick Jeff Aworth if you want to go back he had a good one South Australian and then we can go to the other end of the spectrum, uh, Ian Taylor, one of the yep. all-time greats. He's certainly got one of the most different deliveries out there. Okay, so Brad, coming down, always having a look at it. 
David Baker is also going Kevin Walsh. Go for Faulkner going for Dennis Cat, Luke Turner saying Alex Marshall. We've got a Lee Schrainer mention, a Maddie Bouse mention. Yeah, we'll certainly do. I think most good players have got something that looks reasonably good just because it's fluent. It's lacking a touch there from Nugget. Very good. Two great balls from Brad. Got a couple Brett Dupre shouts. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, another yeah. one. Yes. Yes, Brett Dupre. Yeah, one of the all-time greats. Yeah, gold medalist Phil in the Commonwealth Sons, Games as well. Oh, touch fatter, and that counts. Probably made three touch fatters. Good shot. See the winds are starting to pick up again. Yeah, yeah, we'll see that happen multiple times throughout the day. We'll just get used to it through this game, and then we'll switch the other way. You know, according to the website, I found such a WA. So Perth is the twelfth windiest city in the world. I thought we were a bit higher than that, actually. I, I, th I thought I heard someone say we're in the like, top five, but. I think it depends on your on your yeah. data and your website. Shot if Dave McKinnon. Shot. Just thinking around it. Um, yeah, we certainly are. This is one of the windiest spots in that windy city too. So a couple of any tools. Aaron's having a look. Sneaks his front one. He's not far away. Ooh. He would have had enough weight too. Same idea, mate. Turn yours is great. Well, and let a riffle with his first bolt. See what's gonna happen here. He's got a little bit more on this. Oh, oh. Mine bowl out. It's a handy. Andy spot. Played a lot of bowls together, those two. They played juniors at the same time, Dylan and Dane. I think I played quite a lot of state games as this combination skipper and third as well. Sometimes you just find something that works and you stick when you do, you stick with it. Yep. I think we tend to do that when we, uh, even if it doesn't work, Sachi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nope. How are you going to get down? Let's get down. Let's get down. He's just trying hard to come down. What a shot. Well, he's drawn it cold. <laughs> Aaron Sheriff, absolute plum. Jeez, I came home. Close, oh, oh. Oh. It's a bit stiff there, it's actually made it worse. Yeah. Just again, not quite getting the value Surely, yeah. for their shots. Phew, thank goodness for that. I thought, surely I must. I'm going to try and draw another one. <laughs> really, wind's picking up now. So I'm calling to draw wide. Well, we are on the ditch rink, so it's not going to be all that easy. Inside the boundary peg. A great angle there. It's lacking a touch, which can be the case when you have to get out wide on the mm. on the ditch side, not play it on quite as much. We might see, we might see Dylan change his hand here and try and play through that Victorian bowl. Yeah. Try and kick, kick the jack out. That's good things. They got the, they got two out that side. Oh, he's going to stick with the forehand. So. So we're going to try and see if we can rest it out clean. He's 
got interest. Tell you what, so looking at it. He's got to climb in the front. Oh, oh. He's just clipped the front bowl. Well, he's played two great bowls there, Dylan. And very, very stiff. He is. No front, that was every show. So, and the girls have just crept a few more in front. 27-16, the girls are up. For Queensland, that is. Yep. Yeah, for Queensland. Uh, the man is now 23-17. Yep. About uh, a third of the way through. Uh, the ACT girls are in front over South Australia, 27-21. And the South Australia men are seven in front, 21-14. I think that's probably all the boards that we yeah, can reliably see from here. Yeah, we're a bit restricted. I can just about see WA. I think WA uh, got a pretty big lead over Northern Territory in the girls. Okay, Hill. Good start. Just that lovely spot, half a metre past. Gives you options all through it. And uh, yeah, New South Wales and Tasmania, pretty close actually. In the in the guys, there's only one shot in it. So 14, 13. So ball happening here at Strato. Make Nick. around the place again. Yep. Yep. Two good balls. One on one. Well, I don't think he's actually happy with that. I'll be wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> We're mere mortals. Brendan Gallagher, but just looking to shave a metre off. Well, I just got a message from the great Steve Glasson yeah, confirming that Brett Dupre's delivery is one of the best. He would know. Yeah, well, the glasses play for just about everyone. <laughs> yep. You would Pretty know. Pretty good effort here, Sean. He's playing which well. He is. Just found it early, which oh, that's you right, have to do he, here. He found it from the get-go. The wind, with the wind around and all that sort of stuff, it's not a fun place if you just can't quite find yeah. it. But you find it early, you're set. Let's do a little bit of turning, but it's trying. It's a good first look. For uh, Brett Holland. He's not a mile away, can he, Sean? And two very good bars again. Yeah, just jiggled through a touch, but right around the zone again. On the good two or three front touch would be very good from a coin's hand perspective. Yep, tighter here, so it should be around the place. It just needs to stop. It's just going to run through again. It trickled through. Well, tells straight on the mat, knows what he wants to do. Great shot for my Turley. Yep, it's another one. Yeah. Right, Queensland, defending champions, and so far so good. Won both their games yesterday. Started off pretty well this morning too. It's the wind really starting to pick up. Beautiful quaff is blowing everywhere. <laughs> well, look at this for a shot. Beautiful. Good shot here from not worrying Dane. Yep, he's drawing a couple shot. of plums. Still a good shot here for Tills. Front hopper. Four or five out of it. Gets it. Maybe just a foot and a half around the corner. Oh, they're having a look here. Needs to hang. Oh, oh. well, 
Pulse bowls, they say. Sneaking through. Everybody's pretty close again here. Just urging it to get down. Ooh, helping a lot though. I don't know if I'm going to count, but it helps a lot. Still, Aaron can play without fear. Around the corner, still good. Anyway, so it's not quite going to get down for him. It's kind of going pretty straight out there now, Cam. The wind's really yeah. picked up, so not a lot of give on that tight side. Gonna nest in there, so I don't know if it quite counted. So um, I had pretty good weight with his first, so yep. just a minor adjustment. He whether he gets down, well, he's tighter, yes. Oh, the wind's died down <laughs> for this bowl, so he's getting some turn. Yeah, had no wind at all then, so yeah. I think lots of people do worry about this. Is everyone back home? Um, a lot of people do worry about the uh, the gust, but it's just as impactful when you get the uh, the, the anti-gust, so yeah. to speak. <laughs> non-gust. <laughs> the non-gust. <laughs> Look at this. Close here from snap. Oh, that's a great shot here. Yep. Good shot. It's really the first time we've seen him with an opportunity to cold draw yeah. a counter. No, it certainly hasn't had too many opportunities. But he's so taken it. That's all these players do. 6-3. Six, 6-3, three. Six, three, so... Yeah, a couple of important ones there for the Victorian boys. As we've reached the first seven ends, third way mark. Handy start there, but you want to find another half a metre or so, maybe even a full metre. Yeah, stick into his hand, just try and navigate past it. Looks like you're going to get in the middle. Well, it's unbelievable. I thought he might have changed hands then for the first time, but nope. Well, that's why. Make himself to miss it. Western Australia walking on a dream. Lovely slogan. We well, are yeah, very lucky here. Beautiful city, Perth. That was a great effort. Yep. Still not very happy. Yep. Stayed in the game. Yeah, Nick does switch. The city of Joondalup. Proud hosts. Oh, look at this. He's changed over. Look at that. That's beautiful. Nick Cahill. Very nice work. Good set. Featured uh, as a marquee player for Soldiers Point, my old club, New South Wales. It's 45 minutes north of Newcastle. They got to uh, the final, the state pennant over there. Just getting beat in the final by uh, Raymond Terrace, I believe it was, with the Newcastle club. Fair enough, because uh, that's New South Wales state pennant. 
Those finals are brutally tough. Oh, yeah. They certainly are. Good shot here. Uh, Pop down. They certainly are. Probably just out. So, Sean, going to fall down the forehand. Probably be a full draw. We're going to try and turn one of these balls up. Or yep. If you get a clean pass the somehow, then well, you nearly has. Oh, Needs to get down. If you're calling turn on that hand, you're going to be in trouble yeah, for a lot of the day, yeah. I think. But see the neighbouring ring there. It's only 12 on 10, so they're at the halfway mark. The uh, Matty Flapper, Sean Baker rink. Yeah, well, neither of those two muck around, so they'll get no, through I don't quick. I don't think they've had any dead ends either. We've had three, so. <laughs> Lovely weight from uh, Sean Ingham, but just on the high side. Wind stopping it from releasing. Well, drawn a couple of crackers recently. Dane. He's playing a good fighting line. Yeah, he's um, trying to get under the short bolt. What's going to happen here? He's got absolutely he nothing. Flipped off. <laughs> Gets it a bit fuller and he's locking yeah. in for something around the place. But well, I don't think there'd be too many other brother combos that have both been state skippers. No, I'm trying to think. I'm, this is going back a long way and shows my WA bias, but... Maybe Dennis and Brian Cat. Yeah. Maybe I can think yeah, of there wouldn't, be, there wouldn't be too many. But there's not there's not many. There wouldn't be that many brothers that have both played. Well, even yeah, own. even in the states, so never mind both skipping. I think Dad and I are one of four father-son combinations father -son combos. for WA. Dane's in the zone here. again. He's got the hole this time. He's going to hang around for a shot too. Yeah, I good think. shot. Very well played. Played it well. Um, and of those four combinations, two of them are the two brothers we mentioned with uh, their father, yeah. Branko. The Katuna Edges. Mateo's just dropping a little bit short with that one. Yeah. Matty Flapart trying to fire up the Vic boys. Brings a lot of uh, good energy to a team, does uh, Tangles. Former Australian player and silver medalist in Com Games. He was, uh, I got to watch a bit of the uh, test series against Victoria that, that we had about a month ago. I played in one of the games too and Tangles was uh, phenomenal. He had a fantastic yeah. series. Yeah. But that's what you've got to expect. <laughs> What's happening here? We've got Jack. What's going to happen with it? Yeah, it's going with it, Kyle. So he's alright. Reckon on the front. As Dylan comes up and has a look. So we're, the uh, Queensland women are up 27 20 according to the uh, yep. big board. Don't know if there's anything to go on that. Queensland, uh, Queensland men up as well by about six. ACT women continue to lead the uh, South Australians. And the South Australian men are 17 in front of the ACT, which is 
really all those big boards you can see it looks like WA going pretty get well against the Northern Territory. Yeah, 31 14. Um, from just here, a reminder so. if you look at the description of uh, of this video, there is a link to live to live scoring. It won't be 100% live. We don't have a pl one person per game sort of thing, but we've got people going around and updating those pretty frequently. So it'll give you a good ballpark figure of uh, where every rink and every aggregate board is at. As Dylan plays a bit of weight. Yeah, he's on the run. Looks like he was uh, trying to chip out the Nick Cahill bowl. Was worth a few. As he turns in another one there. I don't think so. Might only be no, the one. Just the one. Just the one. Just the one to Vic. So two ends in a row. Yeah, two ends in a row. And then we see the. Uh, so we're still playing quite well, even when they weren't winning ends, and we see the benefit of hanging in there. There was, so we do, was away, only one. It? They only gave up one two, and so two ends later, they're only two behind, and a chance to uh, get over the top if they uh, can string a couple of ends together. We got a uh, a shout for the uh, siblings, Sachi, uh, Stephen Wayne Anderson for Queensland. Oh back in yes, the day. yes, of course. Thank you, Paul Barty, for that one. Yes. Yeah, great Steve Anderson. Skip for Australia. Yeah, had a lot of time with Steve Anderson, St John's Park. We're the best driver. Steve was right up there. Rob Perella, another one. Some of the greatest drivers we've had. Time's gone by. We start this eighth end. And Brendan doesn't need much of a correction. He needs a couple of rolls on his yeah, first. Sneak round his own or get through it. Well, I'll tell you what, I think he's just about done his two yeah, camp. It's a good he has. Shot. Look at this. What a beautiful correction. Look at that. Thank That's you very much. Shot. Look at that. I'm well, watching a bit of old such from back in the day. <laughs> Bowls link or the uh, Bowls Now app and get all the results from all the games once they're completed. Look at all the ladders, skip ladders, player ladders. Keep yourself up to date with who is a contender. Yes, and uh, following this we'll have uh, Northern Territory and the ACT girls for round four this afternoon. Roughly one o'clock pending on time. Tell you what, if the uh, ACC can hold on to this lead against South Australia, there'll be two wins, one loss. So there'll be hope, and they'll go into the uh, Territory Derby with some confidence. They can win that three yeah. and one. There, who knows what can happen? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Good shot, yeah. Good shot by Brad Holland. Well, this will help. Well, how about this? This just come in, hot yep. off the press. That uh, Rob and John Perella, they were brothers and both play for the state. And their sons, Mark and Rhino, both play for the state <laughs> as well. There you go. So for Queensland. So there you go. Double up, Brad. He's played this pretty well. Probably didn't need the flick off the front in the end. Played that well again. I think it was in holding the do. Oh, straight through the gap. See what they're trying to do, though. They can get onto that orange and turn the jack. Yep. Not the easiest to cover either. No. Now we see a couple of uh, couple of Queensland bowls waiting there. The Car Hills. If you're wondering how windy it is, it just tried to blow my power raid, my half full <laughs> power raid bottle off the table. <laughs> So 
so that's the call. So maybe a six foot of weight. What am I looking for here with tails? I think this will get down. Chew. Gets it, well, he's pushed it to a good spot. So that's where they're looking to try and get it. Dane's first go at getting get to that ball next was a, a fair old effort. We'll see what he's got here. I think he's got attacked by fire. Been friendly the last couple of days. Dave McKinnon. He's looking closely at this one. Needs to sneak past the front, which he'll do. It's going to be another shot. Yep. Packing it in. So we tells might go a bit quicker here. But I say it does give some interesting angles there. Yep. Running here from Tells. Well, it clears the front. Oh, he's got the sneaky wiki woo when he's run on with it. Tells. They had all sorts of nice angles there. <laughs> had, the, had the front. You could actually clean the old wiki woo. Could uh, clean out all three. We had to be was in the zone, which he was. Yep. And smartly knew there was nothing for missing wide. No, exactly right. Him, there were more chances. And he's slightly narrow. So. It's Queensland holding two or three, but Dylan does have some room. Well, he's got some things to rest on too, and I think he's going to need to rest them. Oh, he's found a few gaps. I wasted no time, no mucking around at all. Still a bit disappointed on this first. Can sort of understand why. Aaron around the place should count. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Doesn't want to get. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's probably going to be four down here. Dylan, so going to try and draw his way out of trouble. Had a very uh, had a very good setup, and now it's gone disastrous. As there's a big one here. He's got the wind. What's going to happen? He's in the he's in the area, and he's got to get down to touch the oh, ball. It's a cracking effort. Well, it's going to cut the cut back to two. The other two out. Well, he doesn't have to change too much, and he'll add a third. Needs to hang on. Hang on, and it will. If it Went doesn't light. fall out, if it doesn't fall out, he's alright. No, he's in. Three. Thumbs up. Yep. Thumbs up. There he is, the call. It's a shame for the Vic guys. They had a good setup. They just picked up three shots in a row of their own to get themselves back in the match, and in one fell swoop, they're back where they started. Yeah, they've uh, jumped a bit on the aggregate too now. 16 shots in front, Queensland. 37-21. So much experience here in this Queensland side. Brett Wilkie, Nathan Rice, Great players that have played for Australia. Yep. Sean Baker. Where it was. Barry Lester, a lot of experience. A lot of experience, but some. Um, it's a good balance actually, because they got some uh, some newer players. Uh, they've been around on the scene a fair while, but guys like uh, Nick Cahill, I think it's his second series, and uh, Nick Gosley, I think it's his second, and I think. Yeah, some good young guys coming through. Kane okay, Nelson as well, I think debut series in terms of a side series. So it's a good mix of experience, but also those younger blokes to bring that enthusiasm and excitement. Mm. It's always good to, when you're a defending champion or a team that wins a lot to have a, a bloke or two that haven't. Mm. Just keep the whole team hungry to get them, to get them one and things like that. So Brendan, I'm not going to worry about that last bolt. He's going to try and sneak around it. 
Yep. Done it easily. Just tip in his own bowl in. So, very good. Stuck around the front one as well. well right. Sean needs a bit of both on his last. Looks to have corrected the line. He's close. Wade looks better as well. Good shape. Yeah, that's a great shot. Great shot. Yep. Cuts a few out. Yep. Sniffs the troll straight onto the uh, yep. between bowl, but. Does help a lot. It's right down, only one now. Perth, Perth Pennants, aka okay, Dave Rankin, just pointing out the Western Australian state side actually loves a pair of brothers. Justin, David Opie, Matt and Tom Mitchell. John and Charlie Slavich. So there are maybe a few more than we thought in our cursory. Yeah. Our initial just off the top of our head, I think. Well, we're not sure how many you've skipped. Yeah. Certainly not sure how many have skipped. Particularly in the, particularly in the same series. But yep, we just had an update to that uh, scoreboard. There were a couple of issues, but we got them sorted now. Nine four. It's correct score. Okay, so four hand for two. It's just one down now. Just not quite going to sneak around the front. Coming down his backhand. Just trying to nestle one in there. Well, his weight was about right. Not going to make it any easier. So he's changing his hand. He's trying to use his own bowl. This looks like it's hanging out. Mm. So, no worries at all, just as you do, just get through that gap. Yep, nice easy shot. <laughs> no worries at all. Oh, I'll tell you what, his weight was, he was only on. far off doing it. It's interesting now, that excess uh, that sort of filled the port. So yeah, I think we're going to have to see some weight from Omar, try and open this up a bit. See all those bowls up the front. There's no direct pass to, path to the jack, so. I think, I think Sean's just looking at Till's two bowls and where they're pointing. It's a bit hard to see from where we are where they might be pointing, but we somewhere in well, the I area. think there's going to be some sort of weight coming anyway from, from Aaron. I kind of hope he hits that cannon, although I don't know if that's what he's going for. <laughs> oh, well, he's he's draw. this looks like he's trying to draw it off. Well, if anyone could do it, this is the man to do it. <laughs> it tells us looking on. They are interested. I don't think he's quite going to sneak it. Ooh. Yeah, he was trying to draw it off. Well, so there's only one down. I suppose they've only got sort of the one ball in there too, Cam, so I think they don't want to run the risk of that going. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
Well, we'll find out where that was Whoop. pointing. This thing almost sort of spat off the jack and left everything where it yeah, was. Yeah, we're trying to find a way to get to that Sean Ingham, but I was trying to get that out of the head. Yeah. You would think the value has probably just gone out of it with uh, no, the tells right, hanging bowl. around. Tells, tells the ball coming into the game now, so... So if he likes that forehand draw shot, that one from Tells actually probably is, makes it better for him. Probably helps him out a bit, yep. That's what he's playing. I'm not sure if he's going to... No, he's... Way more one yeah. than anything. Very good for the uh, newer ball that this man's human. Dane's looking to get a little bit inventive here. Well, yeah, I think Dylan's thinking about it. Talking about Wayne Turley's on to Brad Holland's blue bowl just to spit the jack up and up into the side a bit for three or four. It'd be interesting. Yeah, he's got a little bit on it. What happens now? Ooh. Okay, so we no change. Just the one. Just the one. But that would have been interesting if you found a way to get to that. That was that was well well worth a look, I think. So the girls, thirty three twenty two. Thirty three twenty two. You're still in favour of Queensland. Yeah, so uh, Lisa Phillips, 10-7 up over Chloe Stewart. Uh, Kelsey, 14-6 over Cass Millerick. And Lindsay Clark is up 12-6 over Sam Atkinson. Yep. And you get board wise for the, uh, for the men. Currently reads 38-23 in favour of the Queenslanders. They now lead on all ranks. Um, Sean Baker's rink has taken over from Matt Flapper. 17-13 now. Not as we know, 9-5 on this rink is a very good start for Victoria and for uh, Queensland here, both around the place. Um, and 12-5 on the other rink which is Brett Wilkie and Nathan Rice up against Anthony Flapper. So a uh, bit of work to do in the second half for the Vicks. Yes. Good shot here. Yeah, well well shot from Redden. Led well very played. well. Yeah, the lead's been good. Good, solid work, you know. It's probably not with the wind around the way it is. It's not the easiest day to just draw close, draw close, draw close. But these blokes are making it look pretty easy. Doing a very good job. Oh, look at this, Nick. It's a great shot. I think he actually drew that I off and got a shot out of it. Just snuck shot out of it. They set up a good shot for both teams, really, though. Yeah. A couple of jack high balls, so some chances here for Brad. It's full draw. It's going to give the ball a chance. So, probably a little adventurous, but certainly in play. There's certainly no reason to be short to it. No, 100% it would have been nothing worse if you fell six foot short then. I don't know the uh, ball just passed the Victorian ball, but it's the same for Sean. There's no no reason for him not to reach this, really. Uh -oh. Mate, eight. Maybe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably got the worst result he could have yeah, got there. It's but probably the one bad spot. Yeah. He gets it full or he goes with it. Yeah, he's hidden it. It's 
just after 10 o'clock now local time. We're starting to see some people drift in, particularly yeah, some uh, local yeah, hopefully... Sorrento people, having a look before they maybe go off and play. I know they've got a team going to uh, my joint at Cambridge today. And I'm sure they'll have a few others dotted around the place. Obviously, they can't have any uh, kind of practice on their own greens at the moment. They're all in use. But good to see them coming down and having a look before heading off to their respective games. Few in particular over watching the Western Australians, obviously. A fair few watching this game as well. So Sean's just running to the back there, so it'll be a bit handy for later on. The South Australian girls making a bit of a comeback against the ACT, only eight the difference now in that one. Yep. Still a big lead for the South Australian men, they're 20 in front, 36-16 at the halfway mark. It's a pretty good shot there from Dane, splits up the two shots of, uh, two bowls of Sean Ingham. So I was just trying to run underneath this. Is it a hurry a bit? Tom clearly pretty happy with what he's got. Yeah, he doesn't need to make this any fatter, so they'll no. be trying to cover at the moment. He's trying to beat Tells' last bar with that finish. Just needs it to keep running a bit though. Needs to keep running. Oh, it's not well. a bad spot. Yeah, pretty well. Tells. Yeah, minor correction with line. He's a touch higher. Yeah, I think he's a. Queensland guys having a bit of a bit of a talk, just looking at their options. Pretty happy with how the head's set up at the moment. On the good two. Let's see what Dylan tries to do here. So forehand for Dylan. Coming here, just going to run underneath, so I might see, might see bigger weight now from over. Yeah, I think. Yeah, firm as the call. He's come back off that bolt. Has, and it's and it's got him shot. Got him shot as well. A vulnerable shot, but shot nonetheless. Yeah. A bit surprised Dylan went near that, to be honest, because it did just change things up for Aaron. I think we'll see uh, Dylan work up underneath the front two on the forehand here. Yeah, let's see if he can try and set that bowl of Sean's out. So we try and do. Close. Oh, close. He's chipped it oh, out. Oh, great shot. shot. Yep, just got the fine edge of it. What do you have to do? So back to the draw for Aaron. He's looking too. Yeah, he's around the place. He's just got to get under the oranges. Oh, look got at this from Aaron the Sheriff. Oranges. That's yes. a great shot. That's Very a happy. Good set. Yep. He's got the cap. Caps are off. High fives everywhere. Big ball. Yep. Paddle the bum. Thank you. Big, big ball. <laughs> Two very, very good skippers' bowls there. 
Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Yeah, on. certainly was. That again from Nick. Brendan just seems to hurry down. Just scooting. Pretty good correction here from Brennan Gallagher. Oh, great shot. He's going to hang around Just with it. Smothered it. Ooh. Didn't quite run right up to it. West Australia walking on a dream. Urge anyone if they haven't been to the West, come and check it out. Lovely city. And thank you to Tourism WA, a big part of securing uh, securing this event for Western Australia. It's, it's great to have the opportunity to come out and see. Yep. Best players in the country in our in our own backyard. Yes. Just 15 minutes from my house. It's perfect. And I think we're lucky enough, Cam. It's back here again in a couple of years' time. Yeah, I think two 20, or three. 2026. Six? I yeah. Think. Yep, 2026. So three years' time. We're back again. We'll both we'll both be in that camp, so we probably won't be He's able to hoping. comment. We probably won't be able to comment. No, on it that. won't be available. I think, yeah. think so. Clive might be available though. <laughs> yeah, he could be retired or dropped. You reckon? <laughs> I have a word. <laughs> Sean, tell him to sort out his priorities. Yeah. Another handy bow on the head. Victorian girls having a team talk as well. Change the tactics a bit. Stiff there. Yeah, just chipping that bowl in. Chipped it to a good spot too. <laughs> Close oh, yes. shot. Absolute ripper. I had an Tell absolute his hand bundle up. out of it too. Omar says thank you. Okay, so Yard awaits the call. So just arriving up to it. You've got to bowl out to the wing there if you can flick the jack out. Okay, so certainly uh, what we talked about before, Cam, that these are the hardest shots to play. There's sort of that Yard await. Oh, no, no, we're not going the outer weight. No, clearing out. No, we're going the wallop. Dylan's just a good shot. Oh. He is really stiff. Well, it's a good hit. He is really stiff. That was a good hit. Well, he's probably made it a little bit easier now. He's probably made the target bigger, if anything, so. So it's still three to Queensland. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's a lot, lot bigger target now, so Tells be looking to try and really nail this if he can. Oh, team's pretty happy. Look at Charles. Getting better. Fine wine. Well. 
Callers to go again, which is the right early. The fine wine. Just to get two of them out. Could even get three right, if we're going the right. wallop. We're going the wallop again, Cam. Whoosh. Any area again. Oh, he's only got one out. He's, he's been very unlucky. Well, he's had two good hits for no result, really. <laughs> he's played two really good hits to only get one out with each of them. He's stiff. Just having a look at the head here. What, what will they do, Cam? Will they try and draw another one, or will they look for a bit of cover? Okay, no, he's drawing another one. Draw Put the pressure on. Yep. It's a fine wine, mate. Oh, Tell's the fine wine. I don't know. I don't think so. No. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to draw another. Get, I don't think he's going to get down. It's drawn very hard. Mm. Okay, deal looks like he's going to get the. Yep, he's going for the kill as well. Good J2 is going to be another dead, and I think. Yep, yep. There she goes. It was a good hit. That's hit after hit after hit, and they actually yep. finally got something out of it. <laughs> well, I think it's the fourth dead end. Dylan's killed. He has hit very well, and he's sort of sort of had to. Yeah, he has. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we would have been uh, would have been on the home stretch. Would be. That's a very that's a very impactful hit. Just querying the length of this one, so yeah. Sue Hogger. Friendly neighbourhood ICO coming out to measure. We do a great job of volunteers. Certainly can't have the uh, can't have events like this without lots of volunteers, right. including our, our ITOs, who do a fantastic job. Ooh, might be too short. No, didn't. By about four inches, I think, is what our Dylan signaled. Handy home. Didn't nail it, but a handy home. Brendan matches him up nicely. Yeah. Certainly. Good to have your bars just passed, if anything. See Nick needs to run a little touch more. See what Brendan can do. He's been pretty solid. If we can, if we can lock this down with a front hopper, we'll go a long way to helping him get back in. His way's pretty reasonable here. Here it comes now in the play. Yeah. Good shot out of that. Right Good shot. shot. Played very well. Both leads very solid. Just looks to be catching him out a little bit weight wise, doesn't it? Mm. So 
So one o'clock Western Australian time. Hoping to start the next round. We will feature the Northern Territory and the ACT in the women's. Wind uh, really starting to pick up again. Sean just needs to run as far as it can. Sure, he quite channeled far enough. Okay, so it's probably still a good foot and a half to draw a shot. Yeah, no, no one's nailed it yet. This looks good though. Yep. Absolute. That's the absolute. Huh? Yep, riffer there. And Brad, he's stuck in on the right side of it too, so it's hidden. Tells that a mile away. It's going to happen here. He's going to hang on enough. Ooh, he's got the hold. <laughs> Not far off of that. It's a very subtle correction just to get down to Jack. Yeah, we could just see that from our angle here. It was just in for the tunnel. So don't. On his backhand. His line's pretty good, but I don't think he's, don't think he's getting there, though. Uh, Track is all time. He doesn't need to change an awful lot. This might just be a little. Over. Maybe he gets it just a little bit fatter, he gets a good second out of it. ACT girls hanging on, they're eight in front. Fane's close. 32 34. He's just got to stop a touch, but he's close. Played it well. Well, another shot. But the one unfortunate thing is he just sort of has filled that gap that was there. South Australian men doing it quite comfortably at the moment, 43-21. Okay, so Aaron, backhand. Just trying to draw it off. Wait for it. He's trying to get down. Place as well. Yep, certainly is. So what's the nestle in there? Nestling in, yeah. Yep. Okay. So three down here, Omar. Still gonna try and just draw it. No, oh, he's chasing it. Charles looks interested. What's happening here? I think it's a slightly better track yeah, than it. Has he got the weight? Has he got enough weight? change anything so I think it's still going to be three to the it's going to be let's say three I don't think the back orange is in I think it's three I'm not sure okay I'm but on the least three I don't think this is going to upset things too much no, we saw him switch, didn't want to turn in no. that uh, bowl of errands. So we've got here three so, so far. three straight out. Dane's definitely interested. If you're not giving it to him, he's going to tape it, so... Yep. It's 
Sometimes you just need that one number as well as a side just to get, you, get the side yeah, rolling. Lobby. Yeah, it was in yeah, four. It is four. So, big, good pick up there for the Vicks. That's what they needed. Gets their score back to within one. I'm surprised they're not going up a bit more, actually. Just to try and get some energy in the game. That's, that'll take them to within 12 on the yeah, big board. It doesn't. I thought they might have gotten a bit more excited. We're seeing 16 in front in the girls. 42-26. Well, it's not a four cam until you defend it. That's very true. Well, Brendan, he's led very well for the VIX. Another place again here. Is he going to hang on a bit? Just run the way. No, he'll be very happy the way he's led. Anthony Flap has just played a really good shot on rank three. Very happy with it. Made at least three. A score over there as well, so back in the single single digits. Kale okay, draws a good shot. Oh. Well, as we yep. just keep half an eye on that other rank just to see how close it's getting. Four, another four, so. Just like that, back to back fours. All of a sudden, Anger gets yeah, only eight. Only eight. Right back to game on, and Brendan is close. He sneaks under that. Oh, very good shot. Good shot indeed. Yep, wasn't worried about that front bowl at all. So, could that be the turning point? It's just sliding under, but it'll get to a handy spot. Back to back fours, could that be the turning point? Sliding underneath, but it's only foot in a bit. So, plenty of action. We nearly reached the half point of this side series. Plenty of boss to come to next week. The Australian Championships coming from June up. To wrap up a big few weeks here in WA. So Brad, backhand. Just been looking to find a little bit more air out there. Yeah, his play wasn't too bad with his first. No, Brad Holland, he is what, close. They're looking pretty happy with it. Good shot here, Brad Holland. Oh, the wind's just dropped down a bit, so he got a bit nice bit of turn there. So I think we might see. Yep, I don't. So that's the call. Yep, we're going the pot. Yep. Do have two past it. Yep. Close down. Ooh. Yeah. Kick the goal. Okay, so best backward. Yeah, we'll see if he can... It would either be that or the change-up. Yeah, yeah try and change this up a bit. Given that line, I hope he's playing the change-up. Yeah. Well, I won't be happy with that. Was, uh... Yep. Wait until he's getting, uh, getting the same call as Sean Ingham did. Yeah. He's going to hold, gets the balls, and, and the, the jack. jack. Well, look where it's finished, too. <laughs> and locks straight in, too. Look where it's finished. 
Very well played, Wayne Turley. Well, that's almost as good as uh, putting it clean in. Look where that's finished. And uh, now all those bowls that were shot and now and now shortening the way. Tilda's calling up. Don't to come and have a look. See what his options are. So he's going to try and run through the front here. Try and open something up on the backhand. Try, try and give his skipper a clearer path to it. Yep, yeah, or if he can pick that hole and get to Wayne Turley's last bowl, he can probably get it down to Nick Cahill's shot bowl. False start. Yeah, try and draw the hand up there. There you go, big white. Oh, something's going to happen. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's cleaned oh, a lot well. out, but... I was going to say, I thought it was going to be a bit of disastrous, but he's actually managed just to move to Jack. Well, we mentioned it's uh, not a four until you defend it, and the Queensland boys are trying their best to get this back. I don't think Turles would be unhappy to be slightly past here, but he's uh, he's not that. No, it's not going to make it. Mind you. Dylan Fisher solid on the backhand. Yep, solid swing. Just trying to miss these ones at the front. Which he has. He'll get one. one of them out. Uh, still three though. And there's gaps, so. No, no, he's not going to want a jack high bowl hit. Needs to beat these front ones. Up. Um, I think I must have done enough there for that. It's kind of a handy spot too. It does yeah, it's it's navigate yet? Yep. Yeah, doesn't want to. Well, you can't give a you can't give Omar over a mate of the draw. So probably the right idea here. Just try and cut this count back. Can nearly draw a shot if he gets to the inside of the two bowls and flops back. And uh, they are interested. I'll tell you what, they're looking hard. For good reason. He gets oh, down to that jack. That's a great shot. Oh, he's drawn it. Wow. Thank you. Oh, that was a plum. Huge shot from Dylan Fisher. Yep. Never mind cutting it down to two. I'll just draw it. I was just looking here to see if he can... See if he can actually clip that bowl out. I think he can get the edge of it out clean. Cam, I think it will go. Just about, even if it... Well, they're, they're looking at that plant too. I say, I'm just looking at that plant. I think yeah. I think it does get a bit of jack, but they do have... Oh, so I'm not sure how much weight Aaron... They do have a bowl in the ditch. Play. He's got to try and miss all those front bowls. Well, he's going fairly solid at it. Yeah, he doesn't like he's, it. Hey, he doesn't like it. That's a big ball from Dylan oh, Fisher. Gets yep. all, get one out of that. Yep, big turnaround. And it's going to level up the scores, Cam. After 13 ends. Oh, oh, oh. Eight the diff. Eight the diff in the egg. Girls quite comfortably at the moment. 19 shots.
So 10 all. Just dropping a bit short. Both teams very definitely sticking to uh, the tactic they came in with. No one's really changed up what they're doing yet. Queensland map back short and fix sort of mat in the middle towards the T medium sort of a length and it's been pretty consistent from both sides of the whole game. Yeah, so Bit of yard needed. For Brendan. No, a pretty good job. Yeah, corrected nicely. Yeah, beautiful correction. Good shot. Beautiful correction. I think you should be able to draw fairly freely here, having already got one passed. Well, a couple of loose ones here from Nick, but well, certainly not wasted there. Certainly not wasted. No. So Sean will be just trying to get as close as he can. Just a reminder for everybody if you're looking for scores for other games, there is in the description a link for the Bowls Australia live scoring page, which will give you regular updates on every rink and every match, including the other rinks in this one which Queensland currently lead on the other two, and of course 10-10 on this game. Pretty good correction again here. Getting to a good spot and flopping. Yep, yep, Canner in a bit of cover. So, good metre off here. Quite for Sean. Some might have a little bit of run on this, but it's coming in now. Well, good enough for second. Don't want to say it's just that this has been about one player because he's still been very good. But Victoria's come back into the game, and Sean's probably not on fire the way he was in the first five or six yeah. ends. He's still playing good, but his first six ends were fantastic. Mm. Victoria's just been able to build some slightly better setups over the last five or six ends, and it's paid dividends for the most part. Apart from probably the last end. So it's just a draw shot here from Tails. Yeah, we've got the runs a bit this end. Flops back off that or get yeah. second. Staying around the place. Needs to go a bit sideways. Just yeah, a bit think, count. Yeah, I think it'll be enough. So I'll see what the call is here. We're going to have a good look at it. Oh, he's going for it, right? Okay. So, forehand search. Get underneath the front bolt. Well, it's a well, miss there from yeah. Tills. So from the second he let it go, he wasn't that, uh, he wasn't that keen on it.
Still on his forehand. Sneak up under the orange. Yeah. Wouldn't mind a Oh. No touches around the place. He's probably close oh, to counting yeah, anyway. Count but found a way past. He would probably love to get that jack around the corner and just hide it away. Aaron close. The jack. Oh, is it going to go? Right is it going to be another dead end? Oh, no, it stayed in. Stayed in right on the edge, and he's made a couple. Well, these aren't always all that easy, Cam, are they? I mean, you got you no, got they look it. You got plenty of room, but they look it. But they're actually—that's <laughs> probably the hardest bit yeah, about them sometimes. They, they, they look easy, but it's yep, so we had to do. Yeah, doing the main bit, beating the rubbish. Aaron's just got to pass the T, really, with half decent line. Well, you could just about have your house on Omar drawing this. He's using every bit of room he's got. <laughs> I don't know if he's but he's got it. He's got it though. <laughs> Didn't need to be any closer. No. <laughs> Didn't get any extra points for it. No. For it, so. Okay, so Queen Queensland has regained the lead. 11 10, 14. Bringing the boys up for a team talk. Uh, 11 shots in it on the AG. 45-34. On the 44 in mark. And the girls leading 46-29 after 40. Stick with the same length camp. Yep. No, both teams they've got their tactic yep. and they're sticking to it. Trusting in the game plan. Yeah, you see a lot, especially with the Eastern States cam, you don't see uh you don't see a lot of medium end seems to be able to ditch ditch or really short. Let's go, Brendo. I think it's a pretty good tactic too, if you see so many people roll up and just play medium and they day. just practice medium yeah it's um I must say I'm a little surprised I mean sometimes it's a case of who you got but I'm used to uh, watching games there and Sheriff being played predominantly T to T yeah. certainly he played T to T when uh, yeah, for a lot a, of it last a strength. year is the strength of the old T to T I uh I led for the great Rex Johnson and that was always his go to T to T, and I got in trouble because I I crept the mat up half a mat length, and he could see nice it from he could see it from down the other end. <laughs> so I want T to T. <laughs> he could pick it that it was half a mat up. Yes, you did hear a few stories of the uh, the old firm being uh, fairly demanding. Yep, but it's part of what made them great players. Is Two good corrections from the leads here. Good shot. Yeah, great shot. Very, very solid he's been. Sean, good start from him. So Brad go with him. Yep. Let's try to beat that last bolt. So it will be a good good little guide. Looks like it's good in a bit. Gonna get down to the bolt. Yep, yep, done it. All played. Sean might fall off the same spot. Ooh, Ooh. He's just snuck the gap. Oh. SVT girl still hanging on. 
Not in front. Be a huge result, but it sets them up. Yeah, it certainly does. For a, a very good week yeah. if they hang on to that. Yeah. Probably get a they're close to counting, so two or three down here, Tools. Gold medalist, Melbourne Commonwealth Games, Wayne Turley, the triples. It's just got to release and get down to the Victorian Bowl, to Brad's Bowl. Oof. As Dave McKinnon goes down to play his first, he's, uh, his level's definitely stepped up in the last yeah, five or six ends. Yes, it has. A couple of balls at the back. Dylan looks interested. Good shot here, Maka. Played it very well too. If you can just sneak yeah. past it, just creep past it, and he has. Sydney Swan Bolt. Tell us what's he got here. Trying very hard. Oh, look at that. It's going to help. Yeah, yeah, second shot. Second shot. Yep, Dylan just calling for the uh, the full draw to the last. Could it through for four or just sneak through and cover the two Queensland bowls two foot past. Just getting the hangy one. Oh, he's clipped it. Ooh. Well, make it back to two. Yeah, I think he's got far it. enough. Close to it. Love to see it with the uh, the shot ball out of the way. But. <laughs> The back end. There you go for Omar. Just trying to draw a touch up. Is he going to get down? Jesus. Here it comes. Here comes Jesus. Sheriff. And flopped out. Certainly sets up a nice shot with his last. Well, he nearly dropped into the hole, but I think it's still there. Um, yeah, well, got a pretty good view there. We should just be able to sneak it, you think, Cam? So, errands do turn late, but I think so. Because he can afford to add a foot or so if he on his first if he wants to. Yeah, I think he might have drifted. I think he's going a bit wide yeah. here. Now he wanted well, to stay off it. Oh no, it's going to oh. something's happened. He actually had enough weight to get it. The whole thing moving. Oh no, he's made two out of it. Oh wow. Well, he's not really got many places to go either. Well, just like that, two down, two, two down, the two up. Yeah, he had a touch more weight than I thought. Aaron. I didn't think he probably had enough to no, I didn't think get he was it right get back up to, to that bowl. I thought he might clip it, but I didn't think he'd get enough of it to no. roll it up that far. Is this going to be big from Dill? I think it is. Yes, he's going the smack. He's killed four ends already. Oh. 
cleaned well, a fair bit out. It's cleared one of them out. Where we? So, single to the Queensland team. 12 10, 15 ends. Back out to ten on the egg board. Seventeen ends to go, so in the final third. Um, Queensland in the girls. 51 in front now, so... Yeah, 51, 30, 20 in supply, so also yeah. in the final third. So so 20 in 20. Yeah, the big girls need to find something pretty quickly. Excel pass with Brendan, a fairly handy start again. Good shot. Yeah, well, I think he's, uh, he's led sensationally. Uh, if the Vicks are going to make their move, it's got to be soon. I just need another. So we can get back to back fours earlier across two ranks. Maybe that's what like, just another number. Yes, a number. Need to do that again. Or even if it's just three, all three ranks, you know, getting a two at the same time. All of a sudden, it's only four, oh, and yeah. that gets you up and about. Yeah, that's right. Things can change. You just all have a good end together. Oh, Brendan, look at this. He's done a mile away again. Good. Very good. This is sensational leading. Absolute sensational. Look Brendan at that. Gallagher, been very good. So, 16th in, starting to get down to the nitty gritty here, Cam. 100%. Just drifting away, but is in the zone. Brett Holland playing the tight side. Anything inside the last shortening and bowl will count. Yeah, and, and this will done. count. <laughs> that's what he's done. Just rub that ball over as well. So change a few angles up. Right. Okay. I might want something moving. Yep. So six foot away, it's a call. And he's close to doing this. Played it well. He's nearly just got to clean. Touch. Oh, he's well done it too. Yep, great shot, Shawningham. That's changed it quite a lot, not only to uh, Queensland my shot, but there's now a lot in the way. A lot of traffic, yep, exactly. You can see from our view there. So, obviously the wider hand can swing around all that camp. Yep. Angle through the port probably isn't awful either, especially if you decide you want to land or trail at some point. One thing you don't want to do is this. Well, it's out of the way though, Cam, so it's... Uh, yeah, while he's turned it up for another one, it's hopefully going to make things a little bit easier for the big guys to try and get in there. Is Wayne going to clear the front? Yes, he is. Just going to run on a bit though.
That is handy. That is the only one that got past it. Yeah, it's in a, it's good, in a good spot. You'd think at some point Dylan or Dane would be, probably more so Dylan now, will be looking to land the ball or trail the jack. And Tills is looking pretty good. Yes. Should be another one. Just run far enough. Pretty important ball here for Dane. to give, give Dylan the freedom to actually try and get the shot rather than have to cut down. He's chasing after it, so he is interested, yeah. as is Dylan. He's got to clear this front one, though. He's got a hole past the front. He's not going, Nuke. So I think it might still be close to three for the Queenslanders. A few people commenting yeah. on the quality of this game, and uh, you're yeah. not wrong. I'm, uh, it's been, been a good game. Handshakes all around. Well, in not necessarily easy conditions no, either. No, we're just about to say that, yeah. It's um, very, very tricky. So, I'm uh, going to add to the count. Chasing after he likes it. Creeping past the front. Pretty reasonable bowl. What's this going to do? Uh, right look what this is going to do. Smothered it. Geez, you, you need about three or four spray chalks playing with Aaron. <laughs> certainly be getting worried as soon as you feel feel it get a bit light. Oh, so I don't think we're going to see Dill drawing this time. We're going to have to see a bit of weight from him. Driving up to it. We're going to try and get a connection yeah, here. More hunting weight than anything. Yeah, just needs to miss all these at the front. He's got a sneaky. I think he's been unlucky. I think he might have ended up a bit better without the clip off the front. Might still be three to the Queenslanders. Um, what do you do if you're Omo here, Cam? Do you... I suppose the easy shot's just to beat that wing one, but I don't really want to make it any fatter than what it is. There's a good hole there. There is a nice hole there. I think I think he'll draw another. That looks like, looks like what he's playing. You just sort of hope you don't fall Jack Eye. He's actually played it with a sort of a tighter line. Which yeah. Stopped him from fo f being out there. Might have gone a little too much, but... It hasn't fattened anything, so. Well, the Vicks not gonna not gonna want to drop a three here. Uh, could be one. It could be a take him as where if he beats his own, he gets close to second, maybe. Because we're Omar, getting on Omar's isn't that good because it points straight at a couple of Queensland balls. Oh, so Dylan's last ball, what can you do? Oh, a snapper. Boys are looking at it. It's close. It'll tip and fall. Oh, it's certainly going to help. Great shot. Just the one. Yep, second wood. Good shot. It's about a good, as good as he could have done there, I think. Yeah. It wasn't really an avenue for getting shot. No. So it'll be one more to the Queenslanders. After 16 ends, 13-10. Queensland girls comfortably 23 shots up at the moment. The second half of this game still has been solid around the post, but he's sort of struggled to pop that bubble and not really, you know, 100% nailed it. But yeah, still still very handy in terms of putting lots of bowls around, and a lot of his bowls have ended up shot because he's been in good position. Yeah, he's certainly had his hands to be nailing it. Certainly had his hands full with with Brendan the way he's led. Look and here he goes again. Good shots again. Well, I know it's easy to say, but 
When your opposing leads going that good, you can change your hand and just try and upset him. As he's getting that hand all to himself. It's the only problem going that, that tighter side. The wind drops a bit and you, you run away. And Brendan, he's just had this wide side to himself all game. Scooting through on this one, but yep. got old adage one on one behind. Yep, now textbook. So the request for the uh, overall score, the margin is holding at bat nine, so it's 47-38 after 49 ends, so 14 more to go. Five of which will be on this rank. The women, it's uh, Queensland 56, Victoria 30, with 17 ends to go. So yes. that one's looking quite comfortably at the moment. A bit comfortable. Kelsey Cottrell up over Cass Miller, by, I think f 14 shots, I think, mm. from here. Lindsay Clark leading by 11. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the damage. Those two rinks. The other one's quite close. Well, I was so. giving that score update. I was look, too busy looking at boards and missed the, an, an extremely nice shot by Mr. Ingham. Sean Ingham with the shot. Looking to replicate. Yep, we'll repeat the dose. Looking quite reasonable again. Cam, so there's a little bit more run. Oh, his line was great again. down from here. It's going to get into a good home regardless. Yep. yep. Snapper heavy with that one. A couple of good balls in the head. So they've got it surrounded that shot bolt. They do. And if they want it, there's a nice little port to it if they uh, decide that's what they need to do. Don't have to be huge to get under that front one on that hand, I don't think. Be wonderful to see Dane just working up on the tight side through uh, Brad Holland's front bowl or underneath it to sit the bowl. I wonder if that's what we'll see. Underneath. He's giving us a real show, and he's That's got a it. Good shot. Yeah, played that shot beautifully, David. didn't he? He did. Perfect weight. Oh, made three. Yeah, Tells going to be smacking. See underneath the front. Well, he's through it. What's happened? And Renault. Oh, he's got oh, wow. oh, 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 my goodness. <laughs> well. It was sort of half in the zone, but that's about yeah, as deluxe yeah. as it could it's have gone. a couple of little nice little sweet. snakes that have can get a gone the... Just gone the Queensland's way. A couple of little sneakies. Dane loading up. Oh, what's happening here? The wing. Got one of them out. Right, yep. Problem is now though, only uh, only one second because he got one of those as well too. But they are sort of in that mode now. They probably start need to think about getting shot wherever they can.
as we uh, head into the business end across all greens. Really, just a reminder: there is a uh, there's been it's a link in the uh, in the chat, but also in the description of the video to Bowls Australia's uh, live scoring, where you can get regular updates on every rink and every aggregate board being played across the four greens. As Aaron uh, runs for a bit of cover. Yep. Yep. And he's not taking any punt. But uh, pretty much every uh, every green is in the last 15 or 20 ends now. Well, on the home stretch. Yeah, the girls have closed in. South Australia girls only four behind now. Ten ends to go. It's an important ball for Dylan Fisher. It's close, it's Jack. Up. Oh, it's, where's it going to go? It's going to stay in, I think. It's going to stay in. Andy got Omar's Andy as well. Got Omar's on the way through. Held his own up. It's made two. Oh, big result there for Fish. Oh, he's actually. Although Omar's got plenty of room, though, you could you can almost guarantee wherever he puts his. Well, if Dylan wants it, he's got a shot to pot yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I think he's lost this Omar. So he's got a oh, stop. My goodness. Front toucher. Oh wow. Well. Wow. Something you rarely see, so I think they've already got. No, they have. They've, they've got already four. got four. Yeah, they've got four. So that's what I mean. That was uh, it was important to at least beat that front stuff. Uh, it's going to be a handful for the Vicks, just like that. Wow, what a turnaround that is! So just like that, a handful for the Vicks to regain the lead on this rink. Okay. Take the lead on this rank and halve the margin on the uh, on the overall. So with 12 of the players, five in it. It's um, fair to say that is game on. Yep. Yep. Four in to go on this rink. And to be honest, well, he did get a deluxe result sitting Omar's into the sitting there in chest yeah. bowl into the ditch. Well, They've probably been owed one somewhere. Yeah, well that's true. I mean, we we did talk about it with the last team when. The jack was in the ditch. Some of the the bigger the bigger room draws look so easy, but well, not always. So Victorian rink have hit the front. Couldn't have just dropping a touch short. They have probably shortened their length a touch from when we started, just a touch. Certainly got more. It looks a nice correction, actually. So yeah, there's only five to run down. Five the difference down the ball. egg. So yep, she's not all over Queensland. Have led, led the whole game. Flapper having a swing and a miss. Holland right around the zone again here. A bit, a bit of a mix-up on the middle rink there, Cam. The yeah, just bit saw of a, that. A bit of a mix-up. Started to take a bowls out. Bakes have got one to play. Looks like they picked up a good count there on the middle ring. Looks like it was at least three. Four. They picked up a four, so. Just about cancels out the five. Yeah. We just saw on this rink. But 
Holland shouldn't go too far line wise. Very well played. Very well two played. good balls. Yep. One, two, or three. Yep, done his job this end. Just feels like their front end has just, over the last five or six ends, has, has led the charge a bit here. And while Dylan and Dana play well, we've already mentioned that Dane's picked up, have maybe been given the opportunity to play to some pretty good heads and do some nice things more so than early. That Sean finds an angle to get himself to shot. Not quite how he drew it up. Although, so here we're getting down to the the serious business end. Just the just the two ends to go on the middle rink. Flaffer and Bakes. Oh, Dane just drifting underneath. Well, he got a connection there, so he did. It's probably rolled it to a, an easier spot to get to in some ways, although there is more chance of him getting Jack now as well, which is not their best result. Oh, Anthony Flapper having a whack as well. Missed. So, they've got no more bars left. Oh, no, they do. Yep. No, Anthony's still got one to play. It's like at least a couple over there. Turles draws another one just past. Dane looks at least a little bit keen. Let's have a look at this. Quicker to it. It's got well played. Sean clips it clean out. And in some ways, it's almost better that he played that weight and didn't stay because he hasn't lobbed one jack high for the to frame the trail. If he had got the jack himself, he'd have got it right through. Flaps. Twelve's trying to draw up and he's not far. Oh, it's going to help. It's going to help. It's probably I think shot. he has done it. I think it's shot. Yep. Our angle yep. sort of sucks, but it looks good. So they measured on the far ring here. Brett Wilkie got the tape out. So I think they've already taken out a couple. Three. So just like that. Seven, seven shots for the Queenslanders. Back out to a 12. It's uh, been a run of numbers. Exciting finish in the South Australia ACT. Girls, only three the difference. Seven ends to go. So, Aaron, just trying to draw one in. Track Here it comes nice. on a great track. I think his weight's pretty reasonable too. Well, just a casual front toucher. Yes, the uh, the memory lapse has uh, been resurrected. with white clips off the front out the front ball so have a clear run with his last so Omar Omar looks like the Queenslanders they've, they've bounced back after that five on the last end Seven on the neighbouring two rinks. No more drawing for three. Yep, three spins. And they do make a difference. As his way, he gets up to the uh, to the ball. And I Ooh. think he's done it. I think so. Yep, I think he's done it. He's got the thumbs up. Yep. Three it is. Well, we were talking about, you know, winning... Winning ends as a yep. set, and they've nice tried three, three, four, ten just shots in three yep. ends. And just like that, it's back to 15. So, yeah, it's gotten hard in a hurry. 
58, 43, nine ends to play, so over a over a shot and end, one and a half an end. So uh, one's not what you're looking for anymore. That's your minimums. No, no, it's at that time now, Cam. Yep, they're going to be looking for multiples. Over to the wider side. Yep. Nick. A bit late to make the change sometimes, but that's in terms of yeah. only three ends to find it. Well, I think it's a but yeah, it's I think it's a wise move. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd the way Brendan's got on this side. Come on, mate. So he's looking in a good zone again. Well. Come on. Just got a run attach. Yeah, I think he's going to win the best on ground award. Such as pick. Oh, Nick doesn't like that he's already turned his back. Well, Ruddy's saying the middle rink is where Queensland have gotten the advantage after being 2 9 down to get the 24 16. Quite right. They've certainly moved. They And they did it in a hurry, too. It was 2 9 and it was 12 9 in front. Only about four ends later. Brendan drifting past, so both leads got something past. Something in the zone. And Sean drawing down on his backhand. Just needs to hang on a touch. Oh, will do. Red Holland in with a show. Yeah. Oh, he's played a cracker. Front hopper. Played an absolute cracker. Ooh, just turned away from oh, the front. Front hopper. Out too. He might be a leggy. will still be one down. I think he may well have it. It's close. I'm sure he'll try to be similar again, but I think he's got the drift. He's trying to come back. He's trying to be real hard to get Ooh. back. He turned it and got oh, down. Didn't like shot. it. Turn the uh, touring one oh, up. Oh. Yep. Yep. Bit of teamwork. <laughs> Just cut it in nicely. Alright, oh, so forehand for Tools. The fine wine. Under. Yeah. And on that, uh, gee, what? They actually, the line probably actually wasn't that bad. Just more that it was short. Just seen, uh, we just popped the uh, live scoring link into the uh, chat for you. But if you want to flick away and look at the scores, because we are getting right down to the pointy end of all the games now, I think. West Australia in a good position in both of their games. New South Wales in a good position in both their games, particularly the men. Queensland going quite well in both games, as we've seen. Dave McKinnon close here, though. Played a, this played is a, a bomb to flop off him. Oh, oh he flopped the wrong way. <laughs> good shot, though. Uh, South Australia, 16 in front of her ACT, and the men with 10 to play, so they you make them the favourites. But the, uh, the real close one is the ACT versus South Australia women. Yep. Two shots in it. That'll go down to yep. the last. Yep. Six ends to go. 
Chelsea trying to draw this. Doesn't need much more. Wayne. Nearly got there, the Wiley veteran. Only one. One of the Vicks. Cracking going and bowls this camp. Been treated here to a beauty. Oh, we have. Touch shoulder for Dane, because I really do need to get as many as I can, but he doesn't want to touch Wayne's last bowl. Played this good. That's a great well shot. Played. Absolute well played. Absolute great played. ball. Yeah, great ball. Played too. His his last few ends have been very good. He's a good player. It certainly is. So it tells. I'm not having a good talk here. I think they need to do anything too miraculous. Two's not going to hurt things too much. Well, we are going for miraculous. Aaron's going for the wallop. Whoop, straight through the. Oh no. Oh no. Oops, no. the daisy. <laughs> not a lot of clapping. No, no, nor should there be. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's still one to be Tory, though. He's got to beat this front one. Yeah. A couple of times I've seen people go out there, it's looked a touch slower. It is the ditch rink, so... And it is the side, so I don't think they've played on this one much going the other way, so I wouldn't have seen a lot of traffic. Now, Tills was saying the front bowl is shot, so they're holding one, the Queenslanders. So, just wants to beat the wing bowl. Pretty good, he's yeah, he's done Sheriff. Well. He's very good. Yep. Beautiful shot. Kind of needed to be because. Given that ball would have been worth probably three. Oh, look, so it's not worth that now. Oh, well, to be fair, with the position of the game, they, they probably really do probably need to try and look at getting rid of both balls, but could just going to try and draw for one. Could have maybe looked for a trail. A little unsure out there. Got to clear the front one. Short again. Uh, so two more to Queensland. Going to be a bit difficult now he's for the Vicks. It's getting hard now. Been a good yeah. solid team performance from Queensland this rank. Just building good, good setups. Yes. Yeah, so only seven ends to go and sixteen the difference now. So yeah, now you're getting into your. Now you're getting inventive. I think if you're uh, if you're Victoria, the girls 22 in front, 10 to go. 80 Flappers just played a fair set on the uh, on the middle ring. Yeah, they've got three back. Just drawn two within four inches, as you do. Shot again from Brendan Gallagher. Again, Nick Hill can just draw close as he as he can because he's already got one pass. Doesn't have to worry about that. And he's Zoden. He is in the right in the area. Yeah, it's very good shot. Well played, Nick Hill. Australia pick up a couple in the. Oh, sorry, AC2 pick up a couple of the girls, so four in front, five to play. Well, Brendan hasn't done too much wrong. And 
Played this pretty well. Yeah, he's going to drift into a good home. Yep, gave, gave the ball a chance. Yeah, that's exactly where he wanted to finish. He's given, he's given Brad Holland at two a, a, a good setup to play to. Good second, one passed. Position bold, more or less, Jack Height. Sean. Yeah, good shot. So, running out of ends here, the Vicks. Six to go. But just drifting high, we might get to the yeah, mm, to the blue. Clipped it in. So ACT will play the Northern Territory the next game. That'll be our next live stream. Uh, it's due for due for a one o'clock Western Australian time. I'm, it might get it might get brought forward slightly. I'm not sure. Has he got the weight to hang up to them? Yeah, he's got Ooh. flick one of them out. Which early comes back to the mat. Was his first bowl. Bit at the head. Drawing up in his full hand. Aaron looks very interested. And well, he might, because this just needs to run. And it's in. Would have loved it to have gotten down behind, I think, Sean Ingham's aqua. I think the Vicks are got to look to make something happen here. Yeah, yeah, well, like we mentioned, uh, singles singles aren't going to be enough, so we'll be better off trying to kill this and start again. That's what he's going to try and do. Yeah. Coming down with a bit of how you going. This is exactly and he has. Beautiful hit. It's five dead ends. Play the twentieth end. Victorian women have closed the gap a little bit to nineteen, but only nine ends left it looks like. It's still gonna struggle a bit. We're at the thirteen with six to play. The uh, Queensland versus Victoria men game that we're watching now. Nick Cahill in the area. It's a very nice starting ball. Again, in the zone. In yeah, the terms winch, of winch dropped down a bit, can the flags aren't moving, so. That would indicate that it's. Uh, that time where the uh, sea breeze tries to get in, this is probably going to be the uh, best time for playing <laughs> about yeah. all day. I think <laughs> before that, before it before it actually gets in, as the two breezes compete. There's just that still patch in the middle.
Good set from Nick Cahill. Two right in the zone. Both in that slightly past spot. Look, Brendan's face there. Probably held into the pack. Yep. yep. He's done. Gets shot. <laughs> Tip for tat on the ACTSA rank behind us. Trying to draw on the forehand. Just going to run through a bit. Sean. He needs a minor correction on his first. Something very exciting just yeah, happened in the South Australia game. Sean just battling a little bit to hang on. That's probably because, as we say, that wind being down. A little bit more turn. So it's probably also a touch slower out there as well. Gotta run that a little bit further. Oh, Maddie Flavors has winded up. Yeah, another dead end. Another dead end. That's where Brad pulls up short. One in the middle would have been pretty handy. drifts underneath so there is a bit of room here there is an opportunity to try and draw a, try and make three of the next four maybe count can do that maybe sneaky chance yeah a couple of big balls here for, for Dane this on the count really Gets under the front, he's around the place. Oh, yep. even better. Just got a little sneaky. Sneaky off the front. Yep, found a nice angle. Tools. I don't know if this is going to hang on enough. Weight. It's going to change anything. Weight was excellent. This is going to reach. Yep. Yeah, look a lot too from here, Cam. Looks so. But there is room if there's one man you don't want to give room to. No, that's right. Mosey around the front, no he's not. Nearly trick one under the front. I wonder if that sets up a chance for his next one. Yeah, I'm thinking, this, I'm looking at the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit hard to tell but on the screen, but it looks like it works. Brown's going to take that away, so just a bit of a draw now for Omar. Wasted no time. 
Just about well and truly put this to bed if he draws this. There's the run. He's not going to. need to add another. No, this ain't gonna scare yeah. things so one and a look. It tapes out. In fact no, it's a look for the first. Well I think they might actually be seeing which ones Queensland's closest but oh no it is that one so Tells gave up on measuring that one pretty quickly though. One. Okay, so only one. So 1816, final end. Yep. Aggregate wise, once that goes on, it'll be 6048 with five to play. So really looking into numbers territory now. Ladies wise, Queensland leads 60 to 44 with seven ends to play on the big board. So they've been steadily making progress over the last mm. probably 10 or so ends, but not quickly enough. They'd have to up that rate by a fair bit. Uh, the girls, the girls, uh, Victoria got it back to 16, but I think it's just going to be a little bit too late for them. Good shot, Brendan around the mark again. Reminder, Victoria ca came into this game one win, one loss, while Queensland came in undefeated. Undefeated, yep. Victoria's lost a surprise, to, lost to the ACT yesterday, yes. so if they, they can't get up here, then it's not, you, don't want it, you don't really want to get below 50% at any point, really, do you? Apart from maybe after the first game, if you've got a close game first up, a tough game first up. Well, he's had a very fine game. It's probably his worst end to be honest, yeah. <laughs> for a while, yeah. But he's done very well. Get the side nailed this one just yet. Mm, the ACT girls, five in front with two to play. And oh, two different rinks out there. Yep. <laughs> so 14, the difference with four ends to go. Is there a late charge here from ACT and the men? There's plenty of cheering going on. It's only seem very excited. Can't quite see their master board. But was four in that rink, so maybe it's for the rink. As Sean Ingham plays a very good shot here. Draws the shot. I think yeah, that has tightened up. I think it's only seven the diff. I don't think that includes whatever they've gotten here yet either. ACT shaping is the uh, surprise packets of the tournament. The plenty of clapping and cheering going on. Oh, that was a great shot there. From Brad. I'll still be one down, but. Sean's got a little bit of turning to do here. Just hanging out on him. Now they're, they're only one behind ACT. A huge comeback. One behind with three ends to go, so it's all happening. That's really tightened up. So that, that's that's the tightest green, I think, yeah. score-wise. Yeah, 100%. I think 
WA are in a pretty good spot both games and New South Wales likewise. Certainly for the men. Was one has he ranked at one by eighteen though for the women, so that might be tight as well. We'll try and get your scores on that while we monitor this game. Dane looking to try and get things moving. It's cleared the front. Yes, it's uh might have opened up a, a shot to sit the shot the shot ball for three. Yeah, well, we really need a, a three or a four here to really give the other two rinks any hope. I was I just had another dead end. So we look like we look like we're going to be the last rink off halfway through, but we've had five dead ends, and we're going to be first. We're going to be first off. Tails rolling up as far yeah, as he can. Rolls. Wayne Turley yeah. does sort of block the hole to the sit. Yeah. Oh, so that's the call. Swing the jack. They got the best backwood. Took the nice, the nice sit, sitting shot out of it. Also, a change of shot. Dane's intrigued. Is he going to miss the front? He's missed the front. He's going to get oh, the job. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, my goodness. Just, a, just looking from just our a, angle, Cam. You wouldn't think you could. No. <laughs> wouldn't think you'd get through all that. Just a seemingly a yard less weight just to give it that touch more swing, and he gets it. It's a fantastic effort. Wayne draws. Second shot. Well, that takes the hole away. Does. So Dana do that again. Dana, so Dana will be lamenting that that wasn't there <laughs> for the previous bowl. Does make the uh, shot a bit better for Dylan. Get that right. You can nearly squeeze them both out. Oh, he's got less weight. Having a look. They're interested again. He's around the front. Jeez, he, he would have had the oh. hole, you know, if that ball wasn't there. He would have had it too. Problem is, he's sort of locked in that ball. But so. the trail is worth probably three. So. I think the Blacks has played a good ball on the far rink for South Australia to try and give them a cushion. Oh, that stops the trail. That's where he was going to try and get it to. So the Vicks are holding one. Another dead end on rank three. <laughs> yeah, there's been some, uh, there's been some kill ones today. Been a fair few in the last half an yeah, hour. We've had five dead ends, and uh, we're going to be off first. So, the Vic boys just. Trying to find a way to make something out of this. The trail's been more or less taken away. The Cahill Bowl is somewhat locked. Can probably squeeze for, it out. One of the draw for two. It might be. Yeah, I don't think you can. Yeah, I think that's about all he's really got on here. Yeah, there's not a lot else. He's playing some weight though. That doesn't. That's not drawing weight. No, nope, he's looking for something. So, final bowl of the match here for Aaron Sheriff. Just been trying to draw it. Trying to get every shot. Every yeah. shot's important. Number one for the big board. No. Number and number two for the... Uh, in case it goes to shots up to win the title. Well, it's going to be a ring win anyway, so he's going to... I'm not sure... I think rings come into it if it's. Yeah, I think we go eggs, then wins. Yeah, and so. Then and then shots up if it's still. So eggs and rings and shots up if we're still tied. So it can come into it. Yeah. So, uh, when we're trying too hard here. Trying to get down. It's a cracking effort. So it'll be one to the Vix. So. What a cracking game of balls we had there, Cam. Oh, 18, we, were 17. we were treated. We got 19, 
Yeah, eighteen seventeen, one shot in it. Pretty much everyone played pretty well, as you'd expect at this level. That's that's the whole point of this competition, is it's the best of the best of the best. So our next match will be at Northern Territory and the OCT girls scheduled in just over an hour's time. So uh, we're going to end our coverage here. This is uh, Cam Harris. We'll see you back for the next one, mate. If you want me. Yep, you'll be back. <laughs> and this is Lead the Lord Such. Until next time, we'll see you all then. For Buzz Australia, thank you and goodbye.